as we see we bring you the lovely aerial views of the golf course we're live here from the abp news media center and we are presenting to you the round four which seems to be very interesting today as we have a bunch of players on the leaderboard and uh, aman raj is leading the event by a very narrow margin of one stroke followed by akshay sharma and sachin bisoya at 15 under par so very exciting day and uh, i would assume there are a lot of other players who are in the mix some players maybe four five even six shots back on a golf course like this they have a very good shot of going low today and maybe uh, clinching the title yes good morning uh, to everybody i am aditya chohan your host and joining me is ainesh aluwalia as the co commentator for the round 4 of the telangana golconda masters 2023 we will be giving you live coverage of the fourth round and the final round to see who outpips the leader or the does the leader run away with it so stay tuned for exciting scintillating golf coming your way for the next few hours thank you aditya for that introduction and uh, we are just not going to stop here as you can see on your screen we have a host of events coming up uh from the golconda masters we make our way to uh, the beautiful city of uh, uh jammu and uh, that will be followed by the haryana open at panchkula which will be played uh, right before the prestigious event uh, hosted by mr g milkha singh a legendary golfer uh, himself that will be in chandigarh for a big prize money of 1.5 crores then we go make our way uh, to dig boy for the IOC Masters uh, 2023 and from there as we had uh, the legend himself yesterday in the studios uh, Mr Kapil Dev and his event co-hosted by Grant Thornton in Gurugram for a very very massive purse of 2 crores which will then be followed uh, by the SSP Chorasia Invitational another uh, legendary Indian golfer we seem to have a lot of them now and uh, that will be played in the iconic golf course and rcgc kolkata and then we have uh, the final two events the jaipur open in uh, december which will be followed by the big event the season end uh, the tata steel tour championship in jamshedpur for a big prize money of 3 crores and here is the current standing order of merit top 10 players who posted some very good scores and have a few titles behind their belt which amounts to a sizable prize purse the leader of the pack is om prakash chauhan sitting pretty at 68 lakhs 3042 rupees in hot pursuit what is aman raj who was also leading this event at 39 lakhs 78700 rupees in close pursuit to aman raj is karn pratap singh the young lad who has just had his first victory in the forms of chandigarh he is at 35 lakhs 45263 rupees sachin also a first time winner out in tolliganj is at 29 lakhs 22033 rupees amongst the international players who are bearing the torch for their respective countries is jamal hussain from bangladesh he is also in very hot pursuit of sachin as they are separated by a mu mere few thousands he sits at 29 29 lakhs 18485 so a lot of international players catching up to the indian fairy of stars who are leading the pack in terms of the order of merit a lot can change very soon as we have a look at the live action of the round 4 yes and on the tv we have uh, anshul patel from kalhar Ahmedabad we were talking about him and his uh, charming personality he seems to be taking uh, the the big stick out on the first hole is yes, the first hole demands a few different ways to go about it uh, anshul just like the person he is in real life has taken up the challenge and has taken the road stronger route taking all the adventures of the hole into play and uh, with a comfortable swing which he made it looks like he's found and executed it to near perfection 
Yes. And, and the old war horse on your screen, who also happens to be my roommate, is Gaurav Pratap Singh, hailing from Noida Golf Course. He has a total of two tournament wins under his belt. And he's been playing professional golf since 2006. So in pretty much a lot of conditions, he is an old war horse on this tour. He will be looking to make amends of round two where he couldn't put up a big score, but the charge which he has posted on round three will certainly help him forward his case. Yes, absolutely. He takes, he seems to be taking a little more uh, caution with the three wood. I guess with his length, three wood is a smarter play with the water up front. Seems to have taken an aggressive swipe, but that is watching it carefully. But I think he's picked up the tee confidently and should be okay. Now, following uh, Gaurav Pratap Singh, uh, hailing from Noida and uh, Greater Noida rather himself is Sudhir Sharma, as I was talking about him yesterday. My personal favorite ball striker on uh, the PGTI. Yes, uh, Sudhir is one of those extremely talented ball strikers. If you look at his clubs, you'll find a very small dime embedded on them. Embarks how good the quality of strike the man is producing on swing after swing. So this should be just a cakewalk for him. Although this is one of the most difficult t-shirts for most of the people playing this venue. Yes, as he carefully addresses the ball. I think he's unhappy with that shot. Uh, the first tee can be a little nerve-wracking and a little nervous. We hope uh, he's in play. He's just taking uh, caution and taking out a provisional. Yes, the first hole, as uh, we were mentioning, is a, has a trifecta of threads. It's got OBs lurking on both sides, left and right. And you can't even uh, hit it too far out, whereas there is a water body which is realistically in play for some of these long hitters. Yes, I think more satisfied with the second swing. As we saw yesterday, the first can actually spruce up some big numbers and uh, no matter what position or what uh, score you're at, you have to be careful and be confident on the first. All these three starting off, uh, we have Anshul Patel at uh, 9 under par, Gaurav Pratap Singh at 9 under par and Sudhir Sharma at 9, 9 under par as well. There are uh, seven shots adrift. Amanraj, uh, do you think uh, they would fancy uh, a win today. Yes, if you look at that beautiful monument and that magnificent uh, cannon posted on top of that fortress, which is the surrounding wall of the entire golf course. The golf course is set inside a beautiful fortified city. And uh, I wonder how far is the range of that cannon? Can it outdrive your golf ball? Well, I hope. Uh... Uh, it does. It seems to be very powerful and I think it's going to be more on target as well. Yes, it seems to be lurking as a site of warning for anybody who wants to encroach the city back in the day. Yes, and a lot of danger uh, out on the golf course itself. As we see, there are a lot of water bodies and a lot of bunkers. Uh, a lot of tree line uh, as well. And yesterday, if yesterday is uh, an indication, the greens are uh, quite tricky. It's absolutely uh, one of the terrains which are posting a realistic threat to the people on playing out on this venue is the subtle contouring on these greens. It's more of uh, the prime line of defense for the venue as uh, some of the holes give you a lot of birdie opportunities, but you have to be masterful of the subtle slopes, as they say. I absolutely agree with you. And the benefit of watching this live uh, on screens for all of us and all the spectators would be that we will get to watch the beauty, what we can see through this aerial view of the golf course and the city, while uh, also enjoying some high quality, high skilled golf by the golfers and our leaders that are going to be off shortly from the first. 
जी हाँ दोस्तों आज है करने लड़ने का दिन जहां आपका हर स्ट्रोक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण होगा क्योंकि इसके बाद इस टूर्नामेंट की होगी समाप्ति और आपको दोबारा मौका नहीं मिलेगा किसी भी होल पे अपनी गलती सुधारने का तो सारे प्लेयर्स चौथा राउंड जो शुरू कर रहे हैं बहुत ही सटीक और बहुत ही ध्यानपूर्वक अपना समय लेकर अपने हर शॉट का निर्णय काफी अच्छी कैलकुलेशन के साथ करते हुए देखेंगे आज के राउंड में क्योंकि इसके बाद ये राउंड खत्म होने के बाद कोई और राउंड नहीं है जहां अपनी गलतियां सुधारी जा सके सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बी वेरी केयरफुल इन ऑब्जर्विंग सम मास्टरफुल स्ट्रोक प्ले ऑफ गोल्फ बींग कमिंग बींग प्रेजेंटेड योर वे बाय ए एंड professional golf tour of india as they join hands this season and will be giving you live coverage of not only the telangana golkonda masters 2003 but rest of the entire season wherever professional golf tour of india finds itself there are a mix of events lined up for the rest of the season so be careful to look out and watch some beautiful golf coming your way absolutely i couldn't agree more as we see the replays of the players who we just sorting off uh this group is at 9 under par we have sudhir sharma anshul patel and gaurav pratap singh the lovely view that you see the line on the ball in the air was the top tracer showing you the flights the players hit yes the top tracer technology is wonderful uh, and not only wonderful for the seeing purpose of what it is it showcases what the thought process of the player was and how well has he executed his swing to send that ball away it's a great technology as well because it's uh, difficult to sometimes see where the ball is flying especially through the camera it requires a lot of focus and also some great skill and sometimes it's just not possible so the top tracer helps all of us see what the ball did and it uh, you could see if the player hit a fade which would be a left to right or a draw or the ball flight the height they hit it at it's a, it's a very interesting makes for very interesting viewing और दोस्तों ये है वो तालाब जिसकी मैं बात कर रहा था आपको बहुत ही सटीक पहला टी शॉट मारना पड़ता है क्योंकि दाएं और बाएं दोनों तरफ दिक्कतें हैं और ना ही दाएं और बाएं सामने की तरफ भी ये वाटर बॉडी जिसको गोल्फ में बोला जाता है आ जाती है आपके सामने और वो अधिक दूर भी नहीं मार सकते तो पहला शॉट जो है इस टूर्नामेंट का पहले होल पे आपके सारे होश और हवाज में रहकर बिल्कुल सटीक तरीके से सही निर्णय के साथ एग्जीक्यूट करना पड़ता है यस एंड आई थिंक द सेम थिंग इज व्हाट शितेज इज थिंकिंग ऑन द फर्स्ट टी एज वी कैन सी हिम वेटिंग हिज टर्न शितेज हैड द बेस्ट राउंड ऑन द डे yesterday on moving day and he utilized every opportunity that he got he shot a beautiful 8 under par and he would uh, love to repeat that today as well absolutely shitej has a unique skill set as his entire swing is based out on a theory where every club of his in his irons is of the same length be it lob wedge to all the way up till his iron which is the tallest iron i guess and presuming he has a four iron in his bag so once i was having a look at his clubs even the lob wedge all the way up till the four iron is of similar length very unique way of format of going about his particular swing and there is nobody else on our tour who's using the same system where the shaft the length of the shaft is identical no matter what loft is on that club that is indeed very interesting um it seems to be working for him for sure we saw that yesterday Yes, uh, Shitej has definitely made use of his unique swing capabilities and uh, the way he goes about his business, as he proudly boasts. The professional golf tour of India wins under his belt at a very young age. You are absolutely right, and he will start his round at nine under par as well. Aditya, what do you think? The guy starting at nine under par, who are seven shots adrift, Aman Raj, our leader. Do you think they have a realistic shot today of winning? anybody anybody on this venue who is in a shout out of six shots has a realistic chance as we saw aman raj storm into the lead with a beautiful third round 63 which he was a certain distance away from the leaders so yes 
it is realistically possible for people sitting at about uh, my guess is six shots away exactly where Shitej is starting so watch out for who is going to come out at top after 18 holes there you have have a look at how he sets up is absolutely very individualistic yes indeed by that uh, little mini club 12 uh, i sense he hit a good shot and he's happy with the result and now we have uh, um another one of my favorite players on tour very consistent has been uh, at it for a long time as well you would know a lot about him amardeep singh malik yes amardeep singh malik boasting of two professional wins under his belt both happen to have on his home course noida golf club so he is an extremely talented ball striker likes to move the ball left to right and to add on to it his putter works like a magic wand and be aware when that is burning hot yes i think that fade would be an indication as he did it up on the right side of the tee usually indicating that a player would like to move the ball left to right He's watching it intently watching it with his peering eyes i think he himself is content with the result of it and uh, we have um another veteran multiple winner on tour harinder gupta he hails from the chandigarh the coveted chandigarh golf club which produces a lot of golfers on our tour he also starting the round at uh, 10 under par like amardeep malik and he would also think he has a fair shot of winning today yes absolutely uh, a very vibrant combination for uh, harinder black and yellow he will be very easy to spot from any corner of the golf club and the way he charged up in round 4 for the vizac open if that is any possibility of his game coming back watch out for the man from chandigarh because he also has the tendency of sneaking up on leaderboards without any warning yes as we watch uh... Anshul Patel just off the green on the first. It's something very simplistic towards left-handed golfers play the game. It makes it look like that they know a thing or two better than the right-handed players. I guess we are too used to seeing right-handed golfers, and when a left-handed golfer comes along, it seems like a very refreshing welcome change. Yes, I agree. I think that also is the reason for it. We are so used to seeing something happen one particular way. When we see something different, it just catches the eye. Or there is another theory which I would like to float around that Mr. Phil Mickelson holds a private video call conversation with all of these and guys and gives them him gives them a few tips and tricks of the trade. But that is uh, motivation enough for us to actually start playing left-handed. And speaking of left-handers. Uh, one of our early starters, Jairat Singh Sandhu, has had a very good start. He's birded the first three holes that he's played. Um, he seems to be knowing something that uh, uh, we don't. And starting with uh, Jairat Singh was also uh, Tappy Ghai, who's made uh, a birdie on the first three that he has played. So seems like still early days on this final round, but seems like there might be some scoring opportunities as well. So. like you were talking about guys who are 5 6 shots behind the lead do have a realistic chance and they just have to maybe grab those opportunities and uh, they might be able to catch our leader who tees off in a very short while from now yes absolutely and here's a look of some live action on hole number 1 where mr pratap seems to be giving it an extra caution of what his break is so would uh, anshul as yes yeah, judging by the lie on his chip he i would assume would be disappointed with the chip that he had and i think he would have wanted to make that up and down uh, made a make a better fist of it 
But absolutely, absolutely. and uh, good morning to one and all. Uh, this is my co-host Anish Aluwalia and I'm Aditya Chauhan. We will be taking you through the journey of 18 holes of the Telangana Golconda 2023 Masters. So stay tuned, stay live as we will have all the holes covered up for live coverage for the comfort of your home where you can sit, chill and enjoy some beautiful scenic sights of the Telangana Hyderabad Golf Association and what some beautiful golf absolutely as we watch Gaurav Pratap uh, making a good putt on the first um, not sure if whether that was for par or birdie we will uh, update you soon but good to see someone rolling the ball in on the very beginning of the round so would uh, Sudhir Sharma like to do that as well yes both these Noida gents have found the flag stick I'm presuming in uh, their approach shots and they would be looking to make a fast start of their round so they had a bit of a hiccup of the tee. We will soon come to know what has transpired for Mr. Sharma on hole number one with that left-handed putting stroke and the toss of the ball. It doesn't seem to be a very pleasing experience for Mr. Sharma on the first hole. Nothing uh, changes though as he is an extremely done and would be looking to make amends over a stretch of the next coming 17 holes. Absolutely, as we now watch uh, Anshul Patel cleaning up. You can see the different style of grip as well. Yeah, not a problem for him there. Yeah, a firm back of the part, uh, sorry, a firm uh, hit on the stroke, which went inside comfortably using the entirety of the hole in the back hole and what you see on your screens is the drone shot coverage of the beautiful golf club Hyderabad Golf Association as you can see we have a lot of dangers lurking around in forms of massive water bodies some sand bunkers and two different golf ranges with the addition of the new golf range which allows the players to go all the way with their driver which is a welcome respite for everybody in this city as Hyderabad Golf Association has reformed its golf club course not only in terms of the design but in terms of the infrastructure they boast a beautiful clubhouse with a state-of-the-art gym facility which is very prominent and stands out on top of that they have a pro shop and a very very well equipped fitting center so all in all uh, the venue is set up for anybody who wants to understand play enjoy and take up this sport as a profession so good job and a very welcome change for golf in india where golf courses such as Hyderabad golf club is taking serious initiative of not only promoting golf, but uh, help it build up from the grassroots levels. I couldn't agree more. The golf course providing excellent facilities for people to come and enjoy the sport and also our golfers over there giving you some very high quality golf as Yashas has done. Uh, as you see on our screens, it's Yashas Chandra who went very steady yesterday and uh, is sitting at 12 under par. He's uh, even closer to the leaders. He's only back four shots. He I can guarantee is thinking on the tee that he has a very, very good shot at clinching the trophy. He just has to have a good day and he can. We know through the past, we've seen him shoot some very low numbers. He has the capability to shoot a deep round and he would hope so to do it on the day when uh, it all matters the most. Final round of the Bulaneni Panash in Telangana Tourism. The Telangana Golconda Masters 2023. As we take a look at our uh, second to last leader group, seems like it will be uh, Yasha, Sakib, and Ravi Kumar. They will tee off one group ahead of our leader group, which would be followed by them. And Yasha seems to be taking something which is uh, a little less than a driver. And he's teeing it up on the right side of the tee, which would again indicate he wants to play a ball flight, which would be a fade a little left to right.
seems to have uh, hit a good one. He's picked up his tee and moved off the tee. Always a good indication for golfers. Now we see Sakib, the strong, long hitter on the tour. Yes, uh, Sakib, who hails from Karnataka Golf Club, Bangalore, has his solitary win come at the Cochin Golf Club for the Cochin Masters. So he would be looking to add to his tally and uh, give that trophy a run for its money for all the players. He seems to be doing what he usually does, taking the aggressive approach with the driver on the first as well, on the daunting first as we've discussed. He's watching it carefully, but for the most part seems okay with the strike. Just double checking if he was okay. I think he's fine. Now we watch uh, Ravi Kumar, heard on the tee. Ravi Kumar starts a stroke closer at 13 under par. And uh, as you can see, Ravi Kumar not yet a winner on tour, but he would sure hope to change that by the end of the day today. Yes, yeah. all three players are off and uh, Ravi, after a good start to his round three yesterday, would also be looking to capitalize as uh, wisely said, all three players are seeming to be very pleased with the tee shots as they make their way towards the fairway on the first hole. And here's a look at the Protasis technology. Locases what route the ball has taken towards the destination the player intended it to send it. Amo seems to have shot it into the middle of the fairway. All three players have a different outlook towards the approach to the hole and two out of three favored the left side and moved the ball towards the fairway. Yes, and off the fairway we move towards the green, just off the green is Shitij on the first. Seems to have put a good roll on the ball and just comes up a little short, but I think from the distance he was in, he'd be happy with the lag that he just made. Tapping it out, always a good sign on these greens. Yes, uh, after the rain gods eluded the venue last evening and entirety of yesterday, the green speeds are back on a high of 9.75, which is the highest the players would have experienced this week so watch out for some smooth parts rolling up with ease it's always easier to part on greens which are which have a decent speed on them as you can now see we have two feeds uh we have harinder on the first the unmissable harinder gupta and then the second feed we are we have sudhir sharma uh taking charge on number two with his approach harinder misses out on that part took a lot of turn Sudhir has it a beautiful wedge shot, a beautiful approach, and uh, he's he's uh, been out on tour for a while as well. But uh, very hardworking, very consistent, uh, always uh, tweaking with his swing, always trying to figure out what the next change is. He's always looking to improve himself, which I think uh, most of the golfers do. Yes, uh, Sudhir. Sen has sent a very measured approach on the second hole, leaves himself a very makeable uphill part. And the majestic left hander Anshul Patel from Hyderabad has kept on the green, and uh, it's not a bad angle to approach the hole from, as it's not only not a very lengthy part, it makes sure that Anshul will have somewhat of an uphill part coming from his side. So it's always easier for the players to hit an uphill part, as you would see. Yes, it's easier to be aggressive. Amar on your screens on the first hole would look to capitalize on a fast start. 
just narrowly missing out just a little bit gas and that ball would have found the bottom of the hole nonetheless uh, as we've mentioned the first hole is a bit of a tricky mistress and uh, it's always very good to walk off with four clear pars of competitive play on this particular hole yes i agree and on the greens that we have anytime you make a two part from that distance you should be content move on as you watch uh, gaurav pratap striding on to the green on number 2 the, the flag on hole number 2 seems to be at the back of the green um and it seems to have been on a slight down slope so it it would not be a very easy approach and it won't it won't be a very easy shot to get close but Sudhir Sharma and Anshul Patel seem to have done a better job of it than uh, the average. Uh, Gaurav Pratap Singh just basically measuring if you could see him coming up to the green, just seeing the contours and where he would like to land the ball, and judging by his lie, he seems to be okay. You can see the ball propped up; should be a good lie, and uh, he would hope that he brings it up to a range which is close enough for him to what we would assume is a birdie. Gaurav Pratap taking uh, some practice swings, getting a feel of the motion, getting a speed, a uh, feel of the rhythm, the distance he has to hit. There we watch him with some great camera work. I think he comes up a little short. Seems to have missed that little slope that would have pushed the ball forward towards the flag. as we are uh, taking a look at the group on number 2 we also have some other starts um we have vasu sehgal uh, making a quick start today as well we saw yesterday he had a great round he made a bunch of birdies and he's doing it today as well he's four under through the first six holes as we watch our leader group coming on to the tee now on your screens is akshay sharma who was leading the event after round 3 um um i beg your pardon round 2 um and now is he sees himself a shot behind aman raj so he definitely would think that he has a fair shot he hails from chandigarh and he's carefully taking his approach on the first now Akshay on the first with a driver now, teeing it up on the right side seems to be the pattern with most players. Yes, we have the leaders on first hole, and the excitement has just unleashed through the roof as these three players would be. Gunning for the coveted title of the Telangana Golf Kunda Masters 2023. I mean, I know it's not uh, a way to go about it, but uh, I'm kind of rooting for Akshay as he's been in hot pursuit of his third title for a couple of weeks and a bit of a heartbreak what he he had in Vizag. I'm sure he would be looking to make amends of it. Yes, I would agree, but not if you leave it up to Sachin. as we see him on the tee he's uh, fresh off a win this year he's going with a little three wood seems like yes uh, nothing to go away to take away from the calm demeanor of these players all of them have sights on the big trophy and they are not going to leave any quarter for their opponents Moving up the tee, a measured punched three wood, I presume from Sachin, as he's got no issues with length. 
is going more and more with yes it seemed like a Precision very form. confident swing as well and now we watch uh, the unmissable aman raj with his signature hat aman raj who hails from the patna golf club is our leader at 16 under par one shot ahead of his playing partners sachin besoya and akshay sharma aman raj two time winner on tour and also a winner this year he would be very sure of uh, taking the title today he seems to be taking a more measured approach with a driving iron or a rescue of sorts yes aman is firing up and is ready to fire up on the very first hole of the day for the final round of Bulini Panash 2023 Golconda Telangana Masters. A little bit of a lean towards the left indicates the ball is a bit off target where he intended to, but uh, a quick march towards the fairway means it's maybe in the first cut or not exactly where he intended to. Yes, yes as we watch the top tracers of the group before them. uh we watched them tee off a little earlier that was yashas followed and by ravi kumar yes it's a different approach for all the three players yashas ravi and sakib sakib going the more parabola route of uh, taking the ball way high and launching it away from all the trouble which have which is on the left hand side as one of the more difficult challenges has woken up and has come to entertain the players in forms of mother nature wind yes i was actually going to ask you that seems like the greens are faster the sun is out and the wind is up as well early in the morning and usually the wind picks up through the day to how big of a factor do you think that is going to be for the leaders absolutely wind is a very big variable as a uh, people have to throw caution towards another variable coming their way and uh, seeing the talent on display uh, i'm sure the players will master it with uh, a little bit of ease if not complete ease yes uh, wind plays a major role as we will come to see throughout the week do you think it makes the chasing pack a little more difficult for them to actually catch the leaders because scoring would now become more difficult and mm -hmm. maybe the birdies out there that we were hoping uh players make would not be that easy to come by yeah that is absolutely true uh, wind will be a variable but uh, we are looking at the best of the best in our country as these are the players who have honed their skills and taken all the aspects of their game to another level so as much as the wind will pose a little bit of threat i'm sure it will be a welcome change for them as it will make sure the temperatures don't rise very high and a calmer mind prevails for a better resolution towards what the solution might be to take the trophy home absolutely we are as unsure as uh, everybody watching the tournament is because the leaderboard is so packed and tight uh, we see sake wanting to clean up on the first and on our live feed too we have gora pratap singh taking aim on the number 3 which is a par 3 we have with an elevated tee box and then we follow his ball flight yes uh, alongside what how you prep up for your round one of the important variables is the nourishment which goes inside the player in forms of what they eat some of these players as you can see are extremely fit are very very cautious about the kind of food that they intake and uh, it's important to have protein bars have a high protein intake diet as over a stretch of 18 holes uh, if somebody is unaware it pretty much transforms of just in the plain vicinity of walking is a whopping 10 km walk so if you just take out all the variables and just ask about the player who's walking around he's 
actually walked 10 kilometers in a day. And on top of that, mental fatigue and everything comes into play as they have to hit the golf ball, not only a country mile, but to a very precise location. I agree with you, Ashley. These are some of the lesser understood facets of the game to keep yourself hydrated and energized with the food that you're having and the different uh, ways you're taking in the calories and your understanding the energy requirements for a round. As we watch Amar on the live feed one on number two, uh, he seems to have made a very good fist of that short game shot that he just had. And our on live feed two, we just watch Anshul Patel with some great camera work. He's just flown it over the flag. A little over the green maybe he didn't uh, uh, read the wind properly but we seem to have two very good golf shots on number three close to the flag by Sudhir Sharma and Gaurav Pratap Singh yeah and uh, the approach shot coming in from Shritish Navit Kaur has also found himself on the dance floor dance floor where Anshul was Param kitna bhi dhyan dele apne ahar aur potion pe jab aap is khubsurat nizam ke shahar mein ho aur khane ki baat chal rahi ho to man to lalcha hi jata hai inke lazeez saike daur khane ke bare mein soch ke khaskar hyderabad aur hyderabad aaye aur hyderabadi biryani na try kari ho mujhe lagta nahi in playeron ne kisi bhi ek din is behtareen shahar ke Absolutely, and I think uh, they're enjoying their meals at the golf club as well, which brings us to uh, professional advice from Aditya. Aditya, what would you have for breakfast on a morning when you're playing a tournament round? What is your go-to meal? Well, a uh, standard go-to meal for me is an X amount of protein followed up with my daily dose of caffeine. And uh, some fruits and knickknacks for the round, which includes not only a protein bar, but a banana or two, as uh, it is extremely draining playing 18 holes. Leave aside the factor and the endurance which is required of tournament golf. So it's never a bad idea to have ample food while you're playing around. You can carry it in your bag or there are midway huts which you can pick them up from courtesy every venue wherever you are and Tilanga is a great uh, Tila, sorry Hyderabad Golf Club is a gracious host and has put out midpoints on various locations so that the players never go hungry as very well said this tournament is quite special the way it's being hosted in the actual golf course itself as we now watch Shitij, uh, which seems like would be his birdie attempt Yes, uh, now on to live feed one where Shitej would like to make amends of pitch chip which has gone a little too far out and beautifully done. Those long strides of that tall boy, it took me merely two steps to reach all of that. Yes, a very lovely stroke by Shitej indeed. He seems to have had the measure of the greens uh, since yesterday. He's continued the same form and I think Amar would like to follow suit and get this in in one stroke. As we also have Anshul Patel, who had a little short game trouble on the first. He'd want to make a better fist to this shot on number three. They're both lining up their shots. Anshul seems to have gone the other way this time and has left it short, so he'll have a longish putt for par. Amardeep Malik follows suit with Shitij, his playing partner, and holds that as well. So it seems like the boys uh, in that group have had a decent start. 
yes players uh, seem to be taking the most of a scoring opportunity in forms of poll number 2 as both amar and chitej have uh, made set locked in their birdies and from the looks of it uh, for mr gupta it's a very small tap in and he also has on the bottom of the hole so everybody is seems to be enjoying the second hole Yes, and the wind now seems to be picking up a lot more. As you can see, the gusts are higher. The flags are fluttering a little more as Sudhir Sharma with the flat stick, which uh, we would assume is a relatively makeable birdie opportunity on number three. Uh, Sudhir seems to have... Uh gone just a little bit past the flag stick with his uh, t-shirt and has seemed to have left himself a relatively easier but i think it's going to break a little from his left very subtle towards the right side at the line just think the a little more protein for him that yeah. would have made it to the hole yeah the ball just needed a little bit more legs I'm sure as the players get more I and mean, more comfortable with the green speeds, we will see a change in that format and see most of the balls ending up where they need to be at the bottom of the hole. Absolutely. As on our live feed too, we have our current leader, Aman Raj. And uh, it was interesting when he was chatting with our media person yesterday, he said he's quite relaxed for the season and he's not putting too much uh, pressure on his results and the outcomes. You think that is a very comfortable way to actually go about it? Yes, uh, Aman seems to be. All, Aman has already locked in a uh, trophy this season for himself in the forms of Gujarat Open, and uh, he would be looking to up his tally as we see a more. Gaurav Pratap there has also left his putt short. He was coming from uh, over the hole. I think they're giving a little too much caution to that uh, green speed maybe. But I think the winds are also playing a factor. Yes, the jump in stim speed, uh, stim speed being the speed what the ball is rolling on the greens. If it jumps up by a number, complete number, which pretty much it has today, it's a little concerning for the players as it takes a bit of a getting used to. But with two, three poles under their webs, uh, these players will like to make an amends. And that yeah. is exactly what Aman Raj has done and send that ball home. Well, Anshul, on the other hand, uh, he did get the speed right, but I think he under at that part and he's missed it on the short side. Yeah, Aman Anshul seems to be. <laughs> on a slightly slower start to his day as uh, the first three holes have left him to overpower. Yes, that would not be the start that he was looking for, but still a long way to go on this fourth round at the Telangana Golconda Masters presented by Bolinini Panash in Telangana Tourism. Akshay cleaning up on the first as well. Uh, seems to have a better start than yesterday because uh, if we remember, he uh, had a lengthy putt to make on the first yesterday for bogey. So that should give him a better boost and more confidence to start his day today. Yes, with the leaders being bunched up within one shot of each other in forms of Aman Raj, Akshay and Sachin, there is no room for error. This is the day of make and break and all of these guys will be honing into their skills and giving it every caution that needs to be taken care of before they execute their particular shots. Yes, and to all our viewers, we have had our leader group just finish the first. So everybody is off. The tournament is up and running. And if you are in Hyderabad and you are a sports and golf fan, I would highly encourage you to go watch these guys play. And if not, you are all welcome to this coverage that we are presenting at the ABP Media Center, courtesy all our sponsors, as we watch Shitej on the par three and number three. 
seems to have missed it a little left and a little long. Yeah, that would be a very interesting chip shot coming up for Shritej as he's uh, miscued it on the short side, as they say. I guess the wind was a little more than he would have anticipated. From the fluttering of the flag, it seems a strong wind blowing in from the right hand side. With the ball flight, which Amar has, this would this wind would actually help him as he can leave one out into the wind and hold it up against it. Yes, let's see if he actually sees the shot that way. Usually, from uh, what we know, his long game is his strength. I think one of those stronger ball strikers on our tour. A stronger, what I mean is the hit that is produced by him on the ball. And there you have it. The wind is actually playing a very big factor as both these players, Shitej and Amar, have short sighted themselves to an uh, not a very difficult flag location. They'll have their work cut out to save their pass. See if Halinder Gupta can get it onto the green. It also goes to show how good uh, the shot by Gaurav Pratap and Sudhir Sharma was because they were uh, within, well within a birdie range on this hole. Yes, absolutely. Uh, those strike qualities by all the three players in this group has uh, left themselves in a spot of bother. Harinder more so as we just saw that ball disappear, disappear into the thick stuff. And uh, yeah, nothing taken away from the extremely good strikes both posted in forms of Gaurav and Sudhir at that hole. Yes, I think Harinder Gupta will have a little more work to do on that hole compared to the rest of the players. Since the ball was deep in the rough, he'll come out with a little lesser spin and it'll be tougher for him to stop it close to the flag. It will be interesting to see what he actually ends up doing. As we watch uh, a group of Yasha, Sakeb and uh, Ravi Kumar, all three started off with a steady par on the first. Yes, and uh, we have a slight but big update, which is in the forms of scoring being done on round four. Aman Raj has picked up a beautiful birdie on the very first hole of the day and is sitting pretty at 17 under par. So the hot start which he had yesterday, he seems to have linked up with that and is marching towards deeper red figures for the rest of this event. Which means Sachin, Akshay, Ravi, Sakib, Yashas, Kaurav Pratap and people that at tied eighth in forms of Kevin Harinder, Shritij, Amardeep have their work cut out as Aman Raj is not going to back off from the looks of it. A beautiful stroke by Yashas finds yes. barely walks in, it into the hole and a quick stride forward towards the third tee means he has relished that buddy stroke. Yes, I think Yashas realizing that Aman had a good start and needs to pick up the pace himself. As uh, in amongst our top leaders, we have Gaurav Pratap Singh again with a hot start. He's buried the first two and narrowly missed out on the third, as we all saw. So even with the wind picking up and the green speeds up, seems like we have a few scores uh, and a few opportunities that the players can avail. As would uh, Ravi Kumar, we would assume, is his birdie part on hole number two. He also would like to walk it in like Yashas did. And creep a little closer to Aman Raj, who now seems to be uh, uh, on the charge, on the move from the very get go. Yes, a very vital piece of information for any player is the last piece of words or last sounds of words, rather, which come out from his caddy. Before every shot, as we just saw, Ravi's caddy murmuring something in his ear about the line, which makes him take a more informative decision and uh, narrowly misses out on that. He seems to be perplexed by the break. He thought it would move back towards the hole. How important do you think is the role of how, how involved are you with your caddy when you are playing? I'm very much involved with my caddy as uh, 
rather than his uh, brain activity i am more interested is in 2020 vision per se as the ball the gps on my golf balls are a little wonky so i would rather have him freshen up and uh, cleaned up to observe where those uh, wayward missiles per se would be traveling <laughs> I'm, I'm i am uh, well aware of what you are talking about but yes the role of a caddy is very important in golf throughout no matter which tour you are on because they are the only ones who can give advice to you and uh, they play a big role because uh, uh, again they're also an underestimated aspect of the sport the amount the, the heavy bags and the water and the uh, you know the food making sure they know the lines and the distances it's a lot of work as well yes the caddy player relationship is very important and here's a look at the second hole where sakib has slipped out for his birdie putt yes uh, and i think he would have fancied that putt more than the more than his playing partners he was coming up towards the hole and he could have been more aggressive but yashas the one uh, the player who was the furthest seems to have made the most of that uh, hole number 2 yes absolutely uh, the caddy player relationship which we were just discussing about is very very crucial and very very helpful as most of the players would agree with the, the same sentiment that the 15th club which turns out to be the caddy who is with you is the most important variable while you are trying to compete and get your golf game to a even elevated level because sometimes uh, you take decisions and uh, they might not be the correct decisions and uh, an informative caddy can help you guide through some difficult times yes absolutely and uh, we missed out on the chip shot of harinder gupta but uh, judging from where he was I think he's done a good job of it. Uh, he has a relatively good opportunity for par. Yeah, uh, Harinder looks to have made a very good chip shot from a very horrid lie because his ball had totally disappeared. But nonetheless, the putt comes up a little bit short and a bit of a sour taste in his mouth moving towards the. Hole. We've seen that from that part. People are leaving the putt short from uh, that range. that side of the hole on number 3 yeah so, uh, so for what i remember of the green hole number 3 it appears to be a slightly downward putting green uh, facing towards the t area because uh, most of these players have left it short and i remember it, it appears to be relatively faster than it actually is as what we can see from the greens Now Shitesh, after that somewhat wavered tee shot, will also need this putt to clean up and keep his card nice and tidy. Yes, I think he also left himself short sighted, and he's made a fairly decent uh, approach. And uh, that's a beautiful par. Uh, he is not struggling on the greens at all as we can see and amar uh, was in a similar situation to shitej and he seems to have made the best recovery out of all three yes uh, short game is a very important variable for all these players they spend endless hours improving on that and it just seems to see how good uh, amar has hit that chip from a rather difficult spot fairly easy clean up for him uh, i think he would be content with the par on number 3 as we watch the man of the moment on hole number 2 aman raj with a two stroke lead with a birdie on the very first round very first uh, hole of his round that i think would be a disappointing end uh, on that shot for him yes sometimes it does happen that uh... the strike quality produces a lot of spin on the golf ball and that golf ball just got down and sat very quickly 
which has left Aman with a slightly lengthier part than he would have liked. But nonetheless, uh, fairly early days and uh, Aman has already made a fast start to his run. As we have a look at the man who is in close pursuit to the leader at 15 under par, Aman, sorry, uh, Akshay Sharma, hailing from Chandigarh. Yes, he seems to be in a tricky lie. Yeah, a bit of awkward stance coming out for Akshay. But I think he's done an impressive job and got a little help from the cushion on the fringe. He, out of the three, seems like he's the only one with a, with a realis realistic birdie opportunity. But uh, the way Aman Raj and Sachin and the scores they're on uh, wouldn't be a surprise if they actually make a long one as well. As on uh, our live feed number two, we have Sakib, Yashas and Ravi Kumar uh, teeing off. Yes, it would be very interesting to see how well do they gauge the strong gailing winds coming in from the right side as the group before that of Harinder, Shitej and Amar seem to have struggled gauging that wind. Yes, all three of them missed the greens. By now, it seems like if uh, they hit the green, is an impressive shot by itself. Oh, I'm sure all of these players will hit the green, but uh, sometimes we do not execute as we would have liked. Such is the nature of this game, full of surprises. There we watched uh, Sakib take a swipe at uh, number three. He seems to be on the green, but a little distance away. But he has room to work with. Yes, Sakib has given a little bit more caution to the wind, uh, which is uh, not a bad idea. Always better to be on the dance floor, even if you are a fairly lengthy distance away. I think the stats department say that he's hit the green. And he would have just the even out surface of the clean, smooth putting green to work with rather than having to understand how a horrid lie of what Harinder could have been. Yes, and a little error by Harinder and ended up in a bogey and who knows how costly that can be by the end of the day as we watch uh, Ravi Kumar take a swipe on number three and he seems to have uh, hit a much better shot than the players we've seen watched before. As on our live feed one, we have Aman Raj with his attempt and uh, he's left that shot. He's left himself for work, some work for par. It's a very uh, lengthy putt left for Aman Raj to clean up and uh, keep his round clean for par as he had a sizable lengthy birdie putt on the second hole. Yes, I think... Uh, Given the drive and given the length of the hole, uh, everything he's done, the two shots following the drive, I think he'd be very disappointed with them. And Remember correctly, Yashas uh, was not too far off from there where he made his uh, birdie and Sachin might believe that he is unmakeable range. Yeah, Sachin seems to have given it a run for its money and uh, that's a reasonable power part coming for him. Anything inside four feet for uh, talented players like Sachin, Aman and uh, Akshay is pretty much a formality from this point out. But yes, word of caution will also have to be given to no matter what kind of stroke it is. Yes, as we, now we watch uh, Akshay carefully measuring and reading his part on number two, wouldn't he love to watch that go in? As Akshay does that, uh, Karan Pratap Singh, who started the day at minus five, has made a rather boastful eagle on number six. He's one under par for the day. 
Yes, there you saw the 15th club come into play as Akshay's caddy gave him some water to hydrate and calm the nerves. And he's under at that. Um, he seems to be pointing at the yeah, it's green. Like, yes, it's never easy to gauge the subtle contours on any of these greens, but uh, yes, uh, that slight nod towards the caddy would rather suggest that uh, they could have hit it a little more out towards the right as the ball had a sharp dive towards the left. Salman Raj looking at a better part of six feet for his part. Uh, from a score perspective, he he would still be in the lead um, if he if he misses this, but making this would be such a momentum boost. And I think sometimes it's not just about uh, being in lead or uh, making a par, but if you make a putt like this and move on to the next, the momentum is always going to be in your favor. Yes, absolutely. Uh, any and every shot that you're going to hit today is very, very important as no room for error is left after you've marked the score on each hole. No revisiting that hole and uh, any putt which is up your way, as such as what Aman has right now, is very crucial. Immaterial how far out you are in the lead. Very, very nicely done. Just the calmness, the, the comfort and the ease he stroked that ball goes to show that he seems to be in cruise control mode of all the aspects of his game. Absolutely. I think uh, what we talked about yesterday, we'll have to check up with Aman Raj, but I think because of the hat, he's a little cooler under the shade. That might be a little secret for him as well. As we watch uh, Sachin carefully taking a look at the three footer that he has. And usually these are very underrated. The three, four footers can be very tricky sometimes. And uh, one tends to be the most tentative on these parts because your expectation is higher to make them. And they can be tricky. The, the, the breaks can be tricky. But Sachin, without a problem, without a doubt, does that. Um, Akshay should be fairly okay. It's almost a tap and range. Yes, absolutely. That should be a mere formality for a player who's already sitting pretty at 15 under par in forms of Mr. Sharma, who hails from the colorful city of Chandigarh. Yes, and speaking of players from Chandigarh, we have uh, Anga Chima, who we were talking about being one of the more consistent players on tour. He's had a hot start. As we watch Akshay Sharma, the top tracer on the first hole, followed by Sachin. A beautiful ball flight, a beautiful draw by him with his three wood. Yes, Sachin seems to have taken it way orbital, pretty much launching it absolutely sky high and letting it drop towards the intended target. Extremely talented players are out on the golf course to showcase their skills. So if you are in the closer vicinities of the HGA, I would recommend and rather strongly suggest you make your way to the beautiful HGA golf club and uh, enjoy some Beautiful golf being played by the most talented players in our country and a few international players as well. Speaking of the international players, we have a bunch of players who have found themselves making the cut in forms of uh, Endora's Kevin Regal and the Flag bearer for Bangladesh this week is Badal Hussein. As the Asian games are being played in China, we see a little lesser international players available this week as they all are amongst even our players, even our top players in, in, in forms of Anirban Lehiri, Shubankar Sharma, Khalil Joshi and uh, SSP Chorasia will be taking on the challenges and representing India in the Asian Games. Yes, and not to forget our uh, women contingent with uh, Atiti Ashok, Pranav Yours and uh, Avni Prashant. Yes, best of luck to all the players 
not only in the facet of golf, but all the games that India is representing in the Asian Games. Best of luck to them. And hopefully we have a series of medals coming our way. Yes, absolutely. Uh, all the best from our side. And um, I, I would also suggest the spectators to tune in and watch them because nothing more enjoyable for a sportsman and sportswoman to have the support of their uh, nationals. As we watch Sakib with his uh, spacecraft putter trying to make par on number three. And I think he does a good job of it. Yes, that putter is proving to give him some very good desired results. Circling back to the calmness which you get from the rounded hat which you've been very fascinated about, Aman Raj, I think uh, the next week I would rather see you moving around with the double canopy umbrella. I don't, uh, I don't think that anything bigger than that will be possible and can give you more coolness and shade out there in the golf club. I think... Uh... I might take that suggestion into consideration, but I think the problem is that uh, very few can actually carry it off. And you need a certain charm and charisma to wear a hat and uh, be fashionable that way. Uh, I will, I think for the, for the time being, I will let that be with Aman Raj. But if it helps my game in any way, I would certainly start wearing one. Absolutely. Uh, Gaurav Pratap, in a spot of bother in the favorite month or on hole number five, he would like to keep his hot start going. Yes, Gaurav Pratap taking stance in number five, carefully being watched by Sudhir Sharma. Yes, yeah, Sudhir giving it absolute schoolboy attention details. I'm presuming he also has found himself in the bunker as he enters the sand, sandy areas. And uh... yes, by the looks of his swing, he didn't seem to have a very good stance there, but. Uh, we'll have to wait and watch where he ended up with that approach. Yes, forget about the stance what Haru Pratap had. Uh, it looks even a horrid stance for Mr. Sharma with one leg inside the bunker and the other pretty much outside. It's a very, very awkward stance. Yes, I think uh, it will be interesting to watch Sudhir because uh, I've, I've seen him watch so many quirky videos on uh, social media on the golf swing. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a way to figure this out as well. It looks like more of a bash out. Probably a very hard lie amongst yeah. the difficulty of the stance which he already had. So how, how far is that bunker off the tee? A bunker is, uh, to fly that bunker is pretty much, uh, if I'm not wrong, to 75 to 80. But I guess uh, with the length of these players, it's not that difficult. But yeah, the wind could have been a variable where they would have found it difficult to fly it out. Sachin As... now taking a swipe at number three with the strong winds. He seems to have missed it slightly left as well. Uh, we could see half of the golf ball there. Mm. So which would imply that he has an okay slide, should be able to get an up and down there. As we watch one golf ball on the tee, and uh, that should be with Aman Raj. Uh, sorry, on the green. Yes, Aman Raj has found not only the dance floor, but has given himself a very realistic part. Akshay would be looking to follow in close pursuit of where Aman has ended his ball. As Sachin has a bit of an Aaron tee shot on hole number three, finds himself inside the green side rough. But not a very bad lie, as we can see pretty much most of his ball, unlike what happened to Harinder Gupta's ball. Yes, I would agree with that. Uh, it makes it so much easier. Just a little golf ball over the grass and your shot becomes easier. As Akshay Sharma comes up a little short, but he's uh, given himself plenty of room to work with um, for his par, or maybe rather uh, attempt a birdie from there. As we move on to this coverage, uh, Amongst our leaders, amongst the players packed on top, Aman Raj has had a good start with uh, a birdie on the first. He's one under two through uh, through two, and uh, Yashas also is one under through his first three, and he is four shots back. Gaurav Pratap is at uh, eleven under par with two under through three for his start. So he's uh, six back. 
if uh, aman raj keeps up this pace it will be very very difficult to actually catch him yes aman raj is, uh, has already birdied the first hole of the day for him and has set the trend in the right direction now the approach shot from mr sharma has given him a sizable par attempt on a very tricky downhill black position so it will be interesting to see if he can save up his par and uh, keep the round going absolutely uh, i think sometimes it's about momentum as well because with the wind up and the green speeds up you never know who falters and makes an error and lets you back and opens the door for you to catch them um yeah sudhir already has had a bit of a shaky start in terms of a triple bogey opener seven on hole number 1 but a good comeback immediate good comeback after that on the second hole with a birdie so no time left for him to pretty much even breathe as he has to light it up if he wants to catch up with the leaders yes now we watch uh, gaurav pratap with that uh, animated off balance swing but i think he he did a good job of getting the club on the ball but missed it out to the left and he short sighted it uh, himself on this uh, hole number 5 which yesterday we saw gave a lot of trouble to players on the green and around the green it's yes, absolutely got a more of a very talented short game player would be fun to watch what he takes knowing him i'm thinking this ball is coming up quick and high would you say short game is mostly his strength or well the biggest factor in his game is not his short game which he has just showcased how brilliant he is out of that difficult bunker shot it's the confidence that he boasts the sharp calculations of the correct shots at the times which he has taken so he is a very very confident man and goes about his business in a very swift way i would agree with that talking to him you would realize he's got the confidence of four people Yeah, those four also might come up short. <laughs> it seems to be a trend with the boys from Noida and Jeter Noida, as we see one uh, taking practice strokes on hole number five, which is uh, Sudhir Sharma. I very clearly mentioned one of my favorite ball strikers, and uh, he seems to have started off a little dodgy, but is making slow comebacks. Um. speaking of uh, slow starts amardeep malik also started off with a bogey on the first but has come back with a birdie on number 2 so he steadied the ship at level par for the day yes a lot of players have already got their engines revving on a very high rpm in terms of how they are going about their business for round 4 one a few of them are in types of mr chima angad has four under par for his opening six holes a very good start and vasu segel has also come up with a very fiery start catching up to what he was doing yesterday after a very good 66 from round 3 he is also four under par within the same stretch of holes as angad six tapi money tapi and money ran alongside some of the bigger names in forms of mr rahil ganji all three find themselves three under par for the day so scoring is happening very fast as a lot of red is popping up on the scorecards of various players yes as we now would watch uh, sudhir sharma um seems to be a good place he's put himself in uh do you think that was his approach from the bunker or do you think that's his par attempt that is his uh, fourth shot for the hole and uh, well he's left himself a sizable birdie par uh, sorry sizable par attempt coming up but what we had seen with the horrid lie he had for his approach shot having a par attempt is a very good side Yeah, you would love to watch this roll in and not uh, lose any more momentum given the start he had and he yeah he it was a good part 
it just narrowly missed. But from that distance, it's difficult to keep holding putts. Yes, it's uh, the lengthier the putt, the more difficulties it poses. And talking in terms of the length, Aman Raj with his birdie part is pretty much on the similar lines where Mr. Pratap found himself. So from what we have seen, it's a matter of just making sure that the ball reaches the hole. Yes, but he seems to have uh, missed it to the left. And he's also left it short. So uh, no one actually getting the read right from that part of the hole on number three. But it will still be a par. And uh, he continues his steady start moving on to the fourth now. Yes, for uh, the people who are joining us now, we are on our way. Each and every player is up and running for their round four of the Telangana Golf Masters 2023. And Gaurav has secured his path. Rather sign of relief after that Aaron T-shirt. The live coverage of round four is presented by the media giant ABP, who has joined hands with Professional World Tour of India, courtesy which we get the rounds coverage of every golf tournament played in various cities. So stay tuned and enjoy or enjoy the beautiful golf being played in your respective city. There are a few stops in the near future coming along, covering most of the country. So Log on to the portals of Professional Golf Tour of India on various handles. You can see what's which city they're going to travel in, when are they coming to your vicinity, which golf club it's coming up to, and uh, stay informed. There are various portals, various media sites in terms of inquiring of what's happening. And yes, you can log into all these different portals, be it YouTube, be it ABP Live, or the handles of Professional World Tour of India on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and the website professionalgolftourofindia.com and throw in your queries, uh, any suggestions, any recommendations. We would definitely like to hear from the spectators and uh, provide any kind of solutions or understand what you are looking for. So log on to all the portals, uh, show your support for various players whom would you, you want to come out victorious and uh, any suggestions on how we can up the ante of the coverage which is being presented to you. We are live on various portals, AVP Live, YouTube and Eurosports. A sizable part attempt coming up for Ravi on hole number four. It's very difficult, lengthy par part, uh, sorry, hole, par three. And uh, Ravi seems to have hit a very, very impressive long distance putt. I'm presuming that's his uh, birdie attempt as he was a fair distance away. And the length of this hole and the tricky spot that the tournament director, Mr. Sampachari, has put this flag in does not make it a uh, Simple sight for the faint hearted. Yasha and Chandra seems to have it in the in a more favorable spot. Just past the flag, it would mean this ball is going to have serious break on his left side from his left right, and uh, not only serious break, but a fast part coming along his way. There you can see the caddy and the player having a rather lengthy discussion on the line and the speed they're going to engage to get the desired result. Yasha seems to be having a good day on the greens. Uh, still early days, but he would fancy this very much and continue his run. And he does so comfortably 
and carefully. And amongst our uh, good starts, we also have Divyanshu Bajaj, who had a good start yesterday as well. He's three under through the first six and is at 11 under par for the day. Uh, sorry, for the tournament. Yes, uh, the start on the putting greens by Yashas is pretty much a dream start for anybody because he's holding it from all the directions and immaterial of what length it is. I'm sure uh, Saqib has learned a thing or two from Yashas's part and will go to school and use it to his advantage. As you can see, that ball evades its given destination. Anytime you have a lip out of that times what Sakib has experienced, it means that you just were even in lesser than required percentages of from what you would have hit that part to find the bottom of the hole. Yes, I think Sakib would have wanted uh, to not miss that it wasn't a very long uh, but given the last day you want to make a charge you want to hold everything um quick update on one of our players from the back of the pack as well uh, akshay niranjan seems to have had a dream uh, start as he's made a hole in one on the 11th which is his second so congratulations to him i'm sure that was very special and now we take a look at the jovial Gaurav Pratap and Anshul Patel and uh, some of the highlights from their day so far. Yes, uh, both of them seem to be in a relaxed mode. That pretty much every player finds himself before the contouring of 18 different holes is about to begin with. at stake very interesting i would while you watch some of the highlights i would also like to point out uh, the different nuances that go on in the final round and uh, i would like to ask you with regards to let's say pace of play are you one of those players who would prefer to play a little slower take your time or you you want to get on and move on with the game and uh, be in that zone Yes, uh, over a span of 17 years of professional golf, I've been on both sides of the dime, played really fast and uh, sometimes when you're in a spot of bother, you get a little detailed with what your options are and don't even realize when you are, are playing slow for that hole. And talking about playing slow for that hole is the marshal, the tournament director, Mr. Sampachari in the shade lurking around with the leaders making his presence felt that uh, the pace of play needs to be taken care of and uh, all the rules of the golf are adhered to which all most of these players without a fraction of doubt are so clear and understand them very nicely absolutely uh, tournament officials are actually 
uh, in regards to uh, Sampath sir, he's he's one of the nicer personalities to personalities to hang around. But you would hope during a round of golf, you don't actually have to see him and don't uh, need his rulings or uh, and certainly don't need him coming and uh, putting you on the clock. Yes, there are some hefty penalties around for slow pace of play and uh, no player wants that danger lurking around them. Yes, as we now watch uh, Shithij very deliberately making sure that he has the line and read hmm. right on this part. Yeah, this is one of those parts which is going to have a sharp dive towards its right. So, Shithij is giving that extra caution and the way he's been rolling, I won't be surprised that he reads it to perfection. Yes. Like we pointed out, it was a short part. It seemed to be not longer than four feet, but uh, with the little wind and the break, uh, this shot is as difficult as a... Uh, 15 foot uh, uphill straight part, uh, maybe more difficult. And there's a lot of skill and delicacy required to handle those uh, downhillers. Yes, absolutely. And on your screens, you can see the leaders are making way towards the lengthy part three fourth hole. Every round's live coverage is courtesy the media giant ABP and Professional World Tour of India. And uh, their long-standing partners in terms of Tata Steel, Vedika Himalayan Spring Water, Amrutanjan Fruitnik Electro Plus and Rolex. These are the big brands, the big houses which have shown extreme support to different walks of life and also making it possible for youngsters to take professional golf as a career option and uh, a very big shout out to these big brands in being the regular supporters of professional golf absolutely as uh, we also see the lovely peering uh, aerial views of the aga Yes, the, uh, the beautiful drone shot coverage of the magnificent golf club where the li live round four is being telecasted your way of the Telangana World Counter Masters 2023. In the far background, you can see the mounted, on the mounted hilltop is the beautiful fort of Golconda. As judging by those views, I can imagine the players are fortunate and uh, present their gratitude towards being uh, in this position and in this venue. Sometimes Life with Vedika, always full of altitude for Raman Raj because um, the difficulty of the shot seems to be his uh, golf balls a little deep in the rough. He's on a downhill. He has to hit it over the bunker. Yes, any and every kind of possibility which makes this shot impossible is up for displays for our leader as the ball is not visible. That means it's embedded. It's a severe side hill, downhill lie and he has to fly it over a bunker. On a way, tricky par three third, and it looks like he's just lifted up with his hand and tossed it out. That's the quality of short game that this man possesses. That has to be one of the best shots uh, yeah. I have seen, especially um, in this tournament. Uh, I don't think the, the the casual manner in which he addressed it and played it, I don't think it does justification to the actual difficulty of the shot and the quality of the shot that he's hit. Um, yeah, that shot was definitely not for the faint-hearted. It required all the talent, imagination and execution at the same time. Yes, I think uh, the man under that hat is certainly very calm and very composed going about his day. 
Yes, yeah, circling back to the hat, I definitely think you should keep an umbrella for yourself for the next week. As coolness and calmness is the way to go about playing and making smart decisions. And I, I, with, uh, carrying an umbrella is going to be already heavy given the amount of pressure I'm going to carry you playing around. And Akshay Sharma comes up well from the rough as well. Yes, absolutely. Another display of very, very good, talented Akshay Sharma from Chandigarh. That's it's a beautiful chip which he's narrowly missed out on rolling out. Sachin, on the other hand, has decided to not have any form of shade over his head. So again, a different approach. In the three, a little quirky three ball our leader group is. And uh, despite uh, them being par for the first three, they still seem to be the closest to catch uh, Aman Raj. Yes, uh, not only in terms of not wearing a hat, he, uh, Sachin has gone about his business on this particular hole by taking none of the challenges his way and keeping it nice and simple on the fringe of the putting green, a rather simplistic approach to the more difficult par 3 fourth. Yes, I think uh, another aspect of the sport, the more boring you play it, the better you actually do. And Sachin displaying that, uh, and he would hope that he actually takes an advantage instead of saving his park and actually hold this. Wow, that one must have looked good all the way. Just didn't break as much as he would have. He actually calculated about it, but a mere formality of a tap in par left for him. Never a bad option to have one of those on any of these holes as these greens are a little difficult to read as what we have seen from yesterday's coverage. They have a challenge of their own for all the players. Yes, Amin Raj just tapping out the line, uh, which I think was a helpful and, in, and a welcome change in the rules of golf. Uh, you are now allowed to tap out the spike marks that were in no way your fault to begin with. And uh, however composed he might be, he's still taking his time, going through his routine, making sure he has everything ready to make the next stroke. And that's a lovely save by him. Yes, absolutely. Uh, interesting times coming up for the Bolini, Panache and Telangana Tourism sponsored Telangana World Masters 2023 which happens to be the 12th event on the 2023 Tata Steel PGTI season. The tournament prize purse had been raised from last season, which was 40 lakhs to one CR. So very big prize money up for grabs. Every player is uh, giving attention to detail to that. And uh, the increase in prize purse not only demands more attentiveness, but also brings in a better approach of how the players would be focused into going about as it also brings in world ranking points so in totality as the price purse goes we have not only big names coming in we have a, a more attentive entire field attempting to make the most out of these opportunities yes absolutely and uh Speaking of this event, there's quite a lot of support in this event by uh, um, our sponsor, our presenting partner, Bulaneni Panash, who co-presenting this with the Telangana Tourism and, of course, our host venue, which is the HGA, the Hyderabad Golf Association and uh, a very kind hospitality partner in the Western Hyderabad mind space. And uh, not only that, the government of Telangana has been supporting this event since its inception in 2015. So a lot of good support around the event, a lot of positivity around golf and golfers and of course our uh, uh, professional tour. So good to see things coming up and I am sure everyone's support is being met by equal levels of uh, competition and uh level of skills and scoring by the players 
as we watch uh, Yashas on the fifth. Seems to be uh, as the wind is coming up a little more, uh, conditions getting a little tougher. Players are missing the green a little bit more as well. Yeah, fifth uh, hole playing into the wind, which makes it a little lengthier. As we can see, Yasha is coming out of the thick stuff around the green. Has just left it a little longer for his part time than he would have liked. Yes, uh, the beautiful HDA golf course, which used to be a par 71 up till 2001, has gone through a bit of a change with the induction of a magnificent driving range, which has uh, put the par 3 into play on hole number 3rd which previously used to be a par four and which means the totality of the number of strokes which equal up to being the par of the venue has come up to par 70 since 2022. Yeah, some very interesting changes and we've seen uh, Sakib from this range, he's uh, struggled a little, although he looks to have made good strokes, he's just misread them. And uh, uh, the story continues with the same as he's made another good stroke, good speed, but he just overborrowed on that line and has missed it. He's lipped it out. He is uh, burning more edges than uh, using them to hold his putts. As we would now see Ravi Kumar and hoping uh, he has the line and speed. Yes, and uh, hello and welcome to all of you who are joining us. Uh, this is the young bashful prince of uh, Festival World Tour of India, I know Irish Aluwalia, and I am your co-host for the week, Aditya Chauhan. We are presenting you live coverage of the Telangana Golf Masters 2023, which started off with four rounds where we had 126 professionals competing for the coveted title. And after... A span of two days, the cut was implied, and uh, we have now a total of 57 players contending over the weekend, round three and round four. Yes, uh, that has been the story so far. And then continuing after those two days, we saw a change in the leader. Uh, we had Akshay Sharma leading after two rounds, and then we saw Aman Raj coming up with a brilliant, fiery seven under par on round three, moving day. Uh, we brought you that coverage from here, the ABP Media Center, and then we are now bringing you the live coverage of round four, the day that decides who clinches this uh, coveted title. And on your feed, uh, on the left, would be Yashas, one of the players trying to do that. He's currently fourth alone, two under par for the day at 14 under with a very, very realistic shot of catching our leader, Aman Raj, at 17 under, who also himself, by the way, does not seem to be letting up at all. He's giving himself more opportunities than uh, giving him um, uh, more opportunities for birdies. And he's going steadily at uh, one under par and he made, the, he made a good start. He made a birdie on the first and has been steadily making pass since. So very interesting and a very exciting day of golf ahead of us as we watch Yashas on the tricky hole number five. Yes, uh, Yashar is giving every attention to detail on this part as it's his part attempt and he's made it look very, very simple. He's so, having a rather better day on the greens compared to his playing partner, Sakib. Absolutely. Uh, he seems to be in cruise control in forms of uh, his putting and uh, it's a very important facet in this game as the putter is mostly the most important club in your bag because that club is the most used club in your bag. And as what we have seen in more recent times, uh, also happens to be the most uh, club which has gone through a lot of transformations as we see different designs, different colors and different lengths. Yes, yeah, speaking of which... Of uh, putters being dis up for display. How much have you experimented with putters? As we also take a look at our leaderboard. Uh, as we as we mentioned and described earlier, we have Aman Raj uh, leading the pack, followed by Sachin Besoya and Akshay Sharma. They're all also playing partners today, playing the leader group at 15 under, two shots adrift, uh, followed uh, closely by Yashas uh, at 14 under. 
and then we have Ravi Kumar, Divyanshu Bajaj, all a few shots back. And uh, surging up the leaderboard with the charge is actually Angad Chima as well. Although he's seven shots behind Amaraj, he's picked up uh, four shots on the day as he's 400 through six. Uh, who knows? He has a blistering finish to the day and uh, challenges for the title. Still early to predict. And uh, yeah, moving back to the conversation, how, how much have you experimented with the butter? Uh, well, uh, I've, I've tried the classic design. I've had the two ball, uh, the even roll and uh, circling back to all the different unique makes and models available in this day and age, I find myself back to the more classic way of putting design. And uh, that's given me good results and uh, so much so that I haven't been able to find the right grip for my putter. And if you look at the grip which I've got on my putter, uh, you will be not interested in using that putter. <laughs> So yes, uh, the, the putter has a lot of sentimental value for the players as it's the most used club and one of the most reliant clubs for every player. Yes, 100%. Uh, I think uh, Sachin would love to take out the putter after this shot. Yes, and somebody is listening to our particular advice and is out with his umbrella. And uh, Akshay and Amana both on the left hand side of uh, the fifth hole. Not a bad angle to come into this hole, but uh, Sachin is in prime pole position as he's in the short grass and would like to make the most of that. Yes, and we also can see the trees behind him uh, rustling quite a lot. That would mean the wind is up and usually that poses a challenge for all golfers. Sachin was leaning left, looking right, which would also mean that maybe he's leaked out his uh, approach on the fifth little right. Yes, yeah, quite disappointed with his, uh, quite disappointed with the swing he's made. He's still taking a few practice swings after the fact. As we now watch on the screen, uh, Aman Raj, our leader, taking a few practice strokes making sure he inculcates exactly what he wants to do with the shot. I think the shot is a little more difficult coming out from the left side, considering the flags also on the left. A lesser green to work with. He safely put it on the green. Uh, and the ball disappeared, that would imply that the slope that uh, is a little more difficult to view on the screens. Uh, there's a severe slope, uh, as we remember when we were watching players from before. Uh, Anshul Patel put it off there. We could barely see his golf ball or uh, even the putter for that matter. So there's quite a big slope that Aman Raj would have to contend with. And I would assume he would hope a good, strong two parts and move on to the next. And uh, which would be the sixth, a par five, and give himself a good opportunity there as well as uh, the, uh, we see Gaurav Pratash Singh steadily moving along 300 par for the day, making a birdie on the set par 5. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Gaurav has his round going in the right direction on a par start. Joining him is Divyanshu Bajaj also at, again, fi finding his uh, form from yesterday and being substantially under par for the initial six holes of his round both find themselves three under par in hot pursuit of a leader who himself is trying to run away from the chasing pack. The other half of the venue for the players who started off in the back nine, Akshay Niranjan seems to be enjoying the 11th hole then most as he finds the bottom of the hole in one shot which means it's a beautiful hole in one and a great job by the young man he would be looking to make amends of a somewhat not very pleasant round three it's very interesting for the players who are at respectively two under par uh, sorry two over par three over par four and five respectively 
in forms of Trishul, Pranav, Jabir, Akshay, Aniket, Arjun, and Wasim, as uh, they would like to finish inside the top 50 and uh, even their odds of the price purse which they will walk away with. As anybody who finishes outside the top 50 will be definitely making money, but it's called the reserve money, which is not as big as what the top 50 would make. So not only exciting times for the leaders, but uh, all these guys in forms of Aniket Savant, Arjun Puri and Wasim Khan Akshay have their work cut out to find themselves inside the top 50, which is currently being shared by a bunch of players in forms of Alap, Saurabh, Rajesh, Vinay, Manish, Hathakran and they would also be looking to improve their conditions and move a little bit further up towards the price presentation. Works. Yes, a lot to play for throughout the game as we see Akshay Sharma dealing with that treacherous slope. And uh, I think he made a good uh, effort with that. I think uh, well, that's that a good part. A hop and view on this would be what Aman Raj would have seen as Aman's ball going to trail pretty much on the similar lines. Yes, I think. And Aman Raj, we've seen he's he's not been very consistent on the greens as of yet. He hold a very good one on the first, but then he left one on the second shot and then hold the next one. So uh would be interesting to see if he's finally had the measure of the greens and the speed. But I think before Aman Raj is going to be Sachin, who was uh, who we saw earlier was in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, Sachin has a more has the most of the the things to contour with as he's not only dealing with the the step up green but also has to have con uh, contend with the severe slope which adds up fast break into it and uh, he seems to have been a little bit foxed up with that as that ball is a fair bit away from the hole yeah and i think he's uh, right on the edge of the slope as well maybe a little a few more rolls and he would have come back down the slope, which goes to show how difficult the terrain on this particular hole also is. And I think after watching that, Aman Raj is going to take a couple of seconds extra to be sure of what he has to do. There's absolutely uh, no uh, time for any kind of errors and uh, especially not when you're in the leader group playing the final round and either or is the case which is for Sachin, Akshay and Aman Raj where one is leading and the rest two are trying to catch up to the leaders. So interesting times coming up uh, if you're in the near vicinity of the beautiful HGA. I would recommend pack up a picnic basket, get your umbrellas out and uh, come up to the beautiful scenic fortified golf course of HGA and see some beautiful golf being played around. Aman Raj trying to waft, uh, trying to push it a little with the putter after the fact that he's made the stroke. I think uh, it being the fourth day, being on these greens, it is still very difficult to understand the speeds and uh, deal with the slopes. But uh, one man who seems to not be struggling at all on the greens and on the day, despite the winds and the faster greens, is Anga Chima, who is pushing himself further and further and is six under through the first nine. And uh, he's just made, he's just closed out the nine with a birdie on number eight and number nine. And uh, our predictions coming true about him, uh, quality players, high quality players seem to just jump up and spruce up around the leaderboard by the end of the tournament. And he's proving to do that. Uh, good to watch um, him continuing with this form. I don't know how long he can continue this, but he has put himself only five shots adrift, uh, our leader. And uh, Aman Raj still has about a good part of four or five feet for his par on number five. So interesting to see who comes up with the goods. 
is absolutely a, a beautiful, very, very hot start from Angad. As uh, Sachin just narrowly misses out on his power, but uh, that means he would be relinquishing of his uh, tied second place alongside Akshay and will find himself now at 14 under par alongside Yashas M. Chandra. Now, yeah. the interesting fact is that uh, in a stretch of mere nine holes, Angad Chima has gone to an absolutely whistling start and is now six under par for his round. So he's caught up on some serious grounds and uh, seeing the form he is in, I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps the hot start and the hot run going in the back nine and poses a very realistic threat towards this beautiful trophy of the Telangana Golconda Masters 2023. Absolutely, as now very carefully we'll be watching this putt by Aman Raj for his part and he has for the first time, it seems uh, slipped up. He had a wonderful bogey free 63 yesterday. And uh, for the first four, he was one under through today without a bogey. And I think in a day and a half is the first time he's made a bogey today by with that three part on hole number five. He still has a little bit left for his bogey on number five. Aman is carefully taking along his, uh, which he seems to be a better part of the three, a three footer. His caddy pointing to what he thinks would be the break on this hole. And uh, Aman going through his entire routine, which is very important. Uh, you should not rush through the routine, even if you want to. And uh, as seasoned as someone like him, he knows how to handle and calm his nerves and go through the routine and hopefully make the putt. Yes, and he does. He finds the bottom of the cup. A little disappointing, but I think with a par 5 coming up, he'd uh, focus again and want to make amends for that bogey. With uh, Aman Raj's bogey on hole number 5, it now makes the tournament more interesting and brings in guys like Angad who are on a charge 6 under through 9. is very impressive, uh, especially on the fourth round on a Saturday here. And that would mean that uh, as soon as the scores are updated, we would see that he is only now four shots back of Aman Raj. Akshay Sharma now cleaning up on hole number five. He was the first one to go with his uh, birdie part on hole number five. And he seems to have had the better part of his playing partners. And the only one in this group to have made a two part on this hole. So... Akshay Sharma with a little fist pump with his caddy means uh, he's he's feeling good about the momentum that he's continuing with moving on to the next. As we see, uh, while the players make uh, their move to the fifth, uh, sorry, to the sixth hole, we see the aerial views of this beautiful golf course. Uh, this golf course, which is in a fortified location with a lot of history lurking around on and around the golf course a live look at our leaderboard um, which soon will be updated uh, but the leaderboard the names are going to remain pretty much the same aman raj still leads the pack as he started the day followed by akshay sharma and sachin Desoya. yashas also with a steady start following suit at number four and Shitij is tied fifth following them. That rounds up our top five for the day. Currently in round four.
And from the current leaderboard, we have a look at the tournaments that are coming up for uh, for the PGTI, all the players and all the spectators. And uh, a quick run through with them. We are currently in the Hyderabad region playing this event, the Telangana Golconda Masters, which will be followed by uh, an, the event in Jammu, which will be next week. And uh, live coverage for that will also be there. Um, then we'll have the Haryana Open in Panchkula, followed by the prestigious G. Milka Singh Invitational, hosted by the legendary Indian golfer G. Milka Singh himself in Chandigarh for a big prize purse of 1.5 CR. And then we would have the IOC Masters 2023 in Big Boy, another very historical event on our uh, list. Then, uh, as we had um, Mr. Kapil Dev himself yesterday explain his passion for the sport and professional golf in India, he would be co hosting the event in Gurugram DLF Golf Club along with Grand Thornton Invitational. And then we move on to another special event at the RCG series in Kolkata with SSP Chaurasia, the SSP Chaurasia Invitational, which would be played in uh, the royal city of Jaipur, uh, sorry, which would be followed by the event in Jaipur. And uh, all the players would hope for the top 60, as we mentioned, the season ended in Jamshedpur for a massive price first of three crores and everybody is wanting to be in that top 60 to be invited for this event. And here's a look at the top 10 leading money makers for this season. Om Prakash, Aman Raj, Karan Pratap, and Sachin are at respective one, two, three, and four with Staggering amounts of 68 lakhs, 20, 39 lakhs, 35 lakhs, and 29 lakhs amongst the price purse which they have pocketed already. The international players giving them company for the season at the top of the helm are Zamal from uh, Bangladesh and N. Thanga Raja, who was the recent winner of the last tournament which happened in Vizac 2023, the Vizac Open from Sri Lanka and uh, in close hot pursuit of all the players at top is Gaurav Pratap Singh, Sunit Bishnoi, Harinder Gupta and Karthik Sharma. All of them at respective 24 lakhs, 21 lakhs, 19 and 19 respectively in forms of Harinder and Yes, uh, a lot of exciting golf coming up your way in your, the beautiful city of Hyderabad, which is being covered live on your respective platforms in terms of live coverage, Eurosports and AVP Live. You can uh, log into these various portals, have enjoy the golf being pay, played courtesy uh, AVP, the media giant and official golf tour of India alongside Euro, Eurosports, which have joined hands and are bringing you the scenic golf courses in, amongst the various parts of our country, which happens to be in Hyderabad for the Telangana Golconda Masters 2023, the final round as of today. This is Tata Steel and this is an idea. So what happens when you join them? Something remarkable, like the material of the future. Fiber reinforced polymers that goes beyond steel, that is high on strength and corrosion resistance and is cost effective. A material that will be used in foot over bridges, the insides of railway compartments and electric vehicles as also in infrastructure for smart cities. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. Prakash Chauhan, Rahil Ganji, Aman Raj and Karan Pratap alongside Sunit, Harshjit and Gaurav Pratap to name a few. All of them, keeping Rahel aside have, and Udyan aside, have already won this season. And uh, 
unfortunately uh, udyan missed out on the cut and uh, rahil is more or less making his comeback after a very severe ankle stress factor and uh, look is going to be firing up and showcasing the years of experience and talent this man boasts within himself to getting back onto the various tours which he's had the playing privileges for all of his career this event embarks where eight out of the top 10 money winners are playing this week so a lot of hot golf being played the foreign challenge has been led by bangladesh's zamal and akbar hussain japan's makato and dora's kevin as well as the canadian youngster sukharat singh gill unfortunately for a few of them they have missed out on the halfway stage but badal and uh, kevin find themselves in a reasonable fair shot of making a decent run towards the top of the leaderboard this golf course might look a very enticing golf course in terms of various treacherous terrains in terms of bunkers water bodies uh, out of bounds lurking around which didn't seem to concern our man manu gandas last season who posted a 10 under par course record a very very difficult feat to achieve which also happens to be an additional bonus to manu gandas as he holds the current lowest winning total of 23 under par which also happened last season last season marked a beautiful uh, rivalry happening between uh, manu gandas and uh, yuvraj singh sandhu where both these young boys fought each other off for the numero uno spot which eventually meant that manu gandas came on top and uh, between the two of them they shared 11 trophies a very very rare sighting to see where two professionals back up so many wins in one season courtesy of which manu has earned himself a playing privilege on the dp world tour where currently he is keeping the indian flag high and showcasing his multi talented golf game so he is wishing him all the luck for the european tour and keep the flag running high and hopefully soon he ignites the similar spark which he experienced last season well amongst the previous winners of this edition we have some very big guns in terms of harinder gupta ajitesh sandhu udyan mane chikka rangappa and manu gandas manu ajitesh and udyan have happened to win a total of two times on this particular venue ajitesh did it in back to back seasons 2016 and 17 Manu Gandas did it also in back to back seasons of 2021 and 2022 and Chika Rengappa has done it in 2019 so from the looks of it we might have or we will have a new winner to this beautiful trophy of the Telangana Gold Cup mm-hmm. Masters 2023. Unless Harinder has a thing or two to say about how he is going about his business of round four. Yes, I agree. Actually, whoever wins this event seems like they're going to add their names with some big guns in Indian golf. Yes, uh, big guns indeed. While that is happening, we have uh, we will soon see it on our screens. But uh, we now have two co-leaders. We have Yashas, who's just eagle number six to join Aman Raj at sixteen under par, 
who is coming fresh off a of bogey on number five. So as we had predicted, the tournament is getting very, very exciting. Yes, uh, exciting. And uh, the chase is up and running in forms of people catching up with the leaderboard and the leader in forms of Aman Raj, Yashas, Shitej, Angad, Gaurav, Ravi, all of them are mounting up a charge towards the number one spot. And uh, it's time for the overnight leader to answer the call back and show him, show everybody how talented he is. But yes, uh, nothing taken away from the series of birdies alongside a solitary eagle by Yashas, which marks a four under par round for him for the moment for six holes giving him a share of the lead. And there seems to be a same a con issue with, with Sudhir or Gaurav's ball as they are letting Anshul Patel play away and uh, probably looking for the referee for some kind of aid. Yes, Anshul also narrowly seems to have missed the fairway. Or they just maybe move to the side to uh, give him a clear view of his shot. Uh, if that is Anshul, if that is Anshul's uh, ball, he seems to have done a very, very good job from out of the rough on hole number eight. There seems to be some kind of a concern with the Mr. Sharma's ball. I guess it has disappeared in the heavy rough and. It's good to see all the players and the different caddies come into aid of their fellow golfer. A very good trait of sportsmanship on display. Not only do you play with the, the honor and uh, the integrity of the game, you also come out and show support to mm -hmm. your fellow professionals. So these are uh, walking back to his ball. He overestimated the distance he hit on there. And uh, what seems like he's just missed the fairway by a little bit and the, uh, they, they were struggling to find the ball, which only goes to show how heavy the rough also is. So uh, adding on to the tricky design of the golf course and the tricky greens, there is a little more to deal with. Yes, this would be an interesting watch because that ball was in the rough and he's picked it up. That means there is some kind of uh, aid for Mr. Sharma, which has given him which has made life way simpler from heavy rough to a clean lift, clean and place lie in the fairway. I would assume his uh, ball got embedded in the rough. Now, embedded ball should not be giving him a relief into the fairway. It would probably be a sprinkler head or maybe some, 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 something like that. Embedded, something. embedded ball is just bad luck. But as we see it, he is. On the fairway, he is on our screens, and uh, I for sure enjoy watching him swing a golf club. So, looking forward to what he manages with this shot. Seems to be watching it, and uh, that's a very, very good job. Yes, uh, measured to near perfection by uh, the professional golfer Sudhir Sharma, and uh, acknowledgement from his playing partner, courtesy whom he was able to hit this ball, as it was Anshul's caddy who actually found the golf yes. ball, as the rest of the group was searching the ball in a very, very a wayward location from where the actual ball was. Yes, that shot by Sudhir was uh, as perfect as the tee he is known to very popularly make. Kadat and right on point. Hoping he gets his round back uh, after the start that he had and heads in the right direction when it comes to his score. Uh, as a lot of our leaders are now doing, as uh, Yashas has uh, taken charge and has caught up to Amanraj. After the start Amanraj had, uh, one would have uh, faintly assumed that he could run away with this, but clearly that is not the case. Uh, 
If I'm not wrong, uh, was Yashas one of your predictions for the tournament? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the quality of ball striking Yashas has, I would definitely would have put him out there in one of the top runners for the week. In fact, not this week, pretty much week in, week out. I, I remember we were playing uh, pretty close to his home course uh, in uh, Eagleton and uh, the kind of short shaping he put up on display was a very delightful sight for even his playing partner in forms of what I saw. Yes, and he's clearly displaying that with his performance here this week as well as uh, uh, Anshul Patel and uh, uh, Sudhir Sharma watch Gaurav Pratap come on to the green. Uh, I think he would have wanted to maybe make a better effort with what he did. He's going to have some part to contend with. Uh, this group, this group of uh, this four ball that uh, usually we see on tour, Angad Chima, Amar Deep Singh, Malik, Sudhir Sharma and uh, uh, one of the top players, Arjun Sharma, who seems to have uh, missed out this week at the halfway mark. Uh, Three of them doing very well this uh, week would be would be an interesting conversation and uh, interesting to watch what they're all doing and chatting about to come up with these performances together. As we also have another veteran, a former Order of Merit winner and con another consistent player to look out for every week, uh, Shamim Khan, quietly going about his business at uh, three under par for the day, eight under par for the tournament. We now see uh, watch Anshul Patel on hole number eight with his attempt for birdie. After a brilliant approach, he too seems to have underread it and missed it by a whisker. He lipped it out, always heartbreaking for any golfer. Now watching uh, GPS, Gaurav Pratap Singh measuring his putt, which uh, one can assume is for par. Uh, he wasn't on the green. He was a little away, a little on the right side, and he could manage to just get it on the green. And he's left with a, looks like a 12-footer. Yeah, probably he, he's being a little careful as it's a slightly downhill putt, which means it adds to the variables of difficulty in forms of speed as uh, the speeds on the greens are at a stamp of 9.75 pretty much a full number increase in what they have been playing for the rest of the week and it's also more impressive given the rain that we've had this week and uh, we can see the speeds on display on cue as uh, Gaurav Pratap pushes that ball out a little further than he would have liked uh, if and uh, clearly visibly on his uh, expressions you can see that he's disappointed with uh, that stroke so he now carefully looking at his line and his part and one could assume that his part is for birdie and regardless he would like to hold it it's in that tricky range of a five or six footer that you were expecting to make but also you have to put a good stroke and a good reading on it to make it. Yeah, so there with the shorter distance, pretty much on the same line of uh, Mr. Gaurav Pratap would have uh, gone to school and picked up a thing about how the ball is going to break on this hole. So I won't be surprised if this ball ends up at the bottom of the hole. Yes, he does that comfortably does it with ease and we will update you as to what uh, that was for on hole number eight while you watch Gaurav Pratap who would desperately want to clean this up as he's having a he's having a good start and a good round 
you would not want to spoil that in any form. Carefully taking his time. Clearly one can see the importance of this part and also the tricky nature of this part. And to the dislike he misses that. Uh, yes, you can clearly see how disappointing that was for him. Uh, these can be big momentum killers and no one is safe from the undulating greens and the treacherous nature of the terrain that has, that we just saw on display. Uh, the winds are picking up. We see the highlights. He started off well. Let's go for that in the first. Starting off with a birdie. Take a look at some of the highlights from the day. The tournament is up and running quite uh, nicely. We have Aman Raj now back up on the lead. He's managed to make a birdie on number six. Uh, we saw for a brief moment Yashas catching up to Aman with an eagle on the sixth while Aman made a bogey on number five. But uh, that has changed again. Aman's taking the lead again. He's at 17 under and Followed closely by Akshay Sharma, who's also managed to make a birdie on number six. So we have Yashas and Akshay following Aman by a shot at 16 under. And the next competitor is Ravi Kumar, who's also birdie number six. He is at 14 under with Sachin Besoya, who could only manage a par on the par five six. So very interesting days coming, very interesting golf coming up ahead as we watch uh, Anshul Patel. And with a towel on his neck, that would suggest uh, things are heating up, uh, things are getting humid. On number nine, as you can see, the flags are uh, ruffling quite a bit, would assume that the winds are up as well. So conditions not getting easier for the players. We still see some lovely birdies and scoring happening. Anshul Patel is one of the younger players, the younger crop of players coming up and the professional tour, uh, professional golf tour of India has so many of them on offer. Uh, if you look at uh, the leaderboard uh, here itself, you could see names like Duck Shokin, Pukhrat Singh Gill, Vasu Segal, Jairat Sandhu, Karan Pratap Singh. They're all special players, Arjun Prasad, Satar Chibbar. Sanit Bishnoi, a very recent winner on tour. And then there would be some names uh, uh, that come to mind that are not, uh, that are missed the halfway mark, but, uh, you know, guys like Manav Bais, supremely talented golfers. As we watch uh, Sudhir Sharma on the ninth run, that chip by a little, uh, that putt would be of a slight concern. He made a similar putt on the previous hole uh, on number eight. And... Uh, he would be fairly confident to get through this as well. And by the looks of it, it seems it's uh, Gaurav Pratap's turn next. He had a little horrid 
putting on the eighth hole. He had a three putt, what I would assume was for a bogey. Uh, let's see, he has a better read on this. So talking about these players, I feel anybody who's a fan of golf, who plays golf and is uh, following Indian golf carefully, they would know these names, they would recognize these players and they would see that these are guys who are coming up and these are guys who could take it forward, take the, take Indian golf forward, uh, as did a lot of players currently. So very good mix, very good time to be a viewer and a follower of Indian golf and also be a professional golfer on tour because of the price purses and the level of competition currently out on tour. So very impressive time to be in and around golf in India. As we watch, you got Pratap taking an extra second. Just to be sure, uh, as you all know, each stroke matters. The leaderboard is so tightly packed that one cannot let up a stroke and expect that the field does not catch up to you or overtake you. We saw Gaurav Pratap's part. I think with the range he was in, he should be fairly happy with the two part. Because as we've seen through the coverage that uh, we brought to you by ABP News in the media center here, the Greens are playing havoc for the players, uh, even in the final round, especially with the stimp up. Greens playing faster and the undulating and the breaks. It's, it's, it's a tricky business to get the speed and the direction right. So he does a very good job of it. Seems like he's heating up a little, his uh, putter being a little more in flow. Uh, let's see him making a few more birdies and a more uh, a better run at uh, his score. And now we'll watch Anshul Patel trying to do the same and follow his playing partner into the cup. As on our live feed too, we go to number eight with the, the unmistakable stance of Shitij Navid Kaul. He's taken a free flowing wedge swipe at that and he's left it a little short. I can't imagine him being too thrilled with that shot. He had a short uh, club in his hands. Uh, and on our live feed number one, we see Anshu Patel cleaning up on number nine. We will soon update you what that was for whether it was for a par or a birdie. Uh, would have been a very impressive shot on the par three if it was for a birdie. But uh, we will see. As we see on live feed number two, Harinder Gupta, the unmissable Harinder Gupta, lining up and sizing up his shot. While we were... Uh, discussing and watching these uh, wonderful golfers, uh, an update on Yashas. He seems to have made a bogey on number seven. So he falls a further shot back to 15 under. And now we watch uh, Amardeep Malik, who's recently adopted a left hand below low short game uh, technique. He's been doing fairly well with it. Uh, I don't think he was too happy with the shot he hit here but it's been working for him uh, rather well otherwise. But giving credit to him, it was a difficult shot as well. He was below the slope, an elevated green in the rough, green running away from you, the wind not helping. So the shot in itself was not that easy. As you watch Harinder Gupta in a better position, but still in the rough. Yes, that was it. that's a brilliant chip he's hit should be very content with that. He's not going to lose out of stroke on that hole. There we see Shitij uh, on your screens. He's just taken a club length of relief uh, because uh, he's, he's taking part of something called the preferred lie. Sometimes when it rains a lot and the conditions get a little soggy, the golf balls tend to get embedded or uh, have a little mud on them. So you could uh, apply this rule of lift clean in place. But before that, we have Amar chipping and he almost hold it. 
he should be much happier with that result so yes yeah, so you're allowed to lift your ball clean it and place it provided you're on the fairway and uh, this is just to make sure that the players are not at any disadvantage because of a bad break uh, because of some mud or a bad lie because of uh, soggy conditions although with the amount of rain that was there uh, during this week at the AGA it is very impressive given the green space and the conditions of the golf course so uh, shout out and kudos to the ground staff at AGA Shitij, uh, they're trying to gauge the slope for his putt. He's uh, left himself a little short one down the hill, but a little tricky one. Just making sure he has the right read on it. Here's a look at this rather unique setup for pretty much every swing of Shitej seems to be paying absolute dividends as he takes his leisure walk to the ninth hole bar three after that beautiful part on the slightly tricky par four, par five, eight. And here's a look at the choice of ball flight, which is shown to you courtesy of racer by Gaurav and Sudhir, both having moving the ball a little left right and talking about a player who is already left right for him this is a soft drop yes i think uh anshul patel with the side of golf he chose to play helped him out on the ninth he didn't have to manufacture anything he could naturally play the shape of the hole Yes, uh, the ninth hole uh, poses a bit of a challenge of its own as it's got three different contours on the green and is guarded. Water body is covering the facility. We can watch the unmissable Harinder Gupta through the trees, hitting his tee shot on the par three number nine. What a unique uh, camera angle! Looks like they're on some seaside, enjoying underneath the shades of those beautiful palm trees. Yes, and uh, Harinder Gupta just needs a. Fancy shirt, like a fancy sh shot he just hit on number nine. He's got the pants to be chilling on the beach. Uh, yes, he's definitely hit a very measured approach onto hole number nine. We'll give him a realistic look at birdies. And uh, as far as what's happening at the 
top of the leaderboard Aman Raj after that slightly troubled three part on hole number five has quickly went on to make amends of that fault and buried hole number five and is back at 17 under one shot clear and a uh, bit of a flutter of mistake by Yashas has put him at 15 under par where he finds himself standalone at third position. Yes, yeah, so we missed out on where that ended up. We will uh, shortly see. We're so talking about the ninth hole. Are those uh, trees something you have to contend with when you are uh, hitting your tee shot? Do you have to hit it? You have to be careful of hitting it over them. If you hit it a little low, do you think those trees are in play? Yes, absolutely. You have to contend with that solitary palm tree standing in between. You need you either either of two options. You go absolutely straight up and above the tree, or move your ball as Gaurav, uh, not only Gaurav, as Gaurav and uh, Sudhir alongside his playing partner Anshul Patel decided to move the ball from left of the green, left of that tree towards the center of the green. So a left to right movement is mostly what we'll see. This is the choice of ball flight selection with the players will execute on that hole. Because it's a windy day and uh, throwing the ball in the air would bring that variable into play. So a lot to contend with for our players as we watch. As we watch Ravi take eye up his birdie attempt. Before that, Yashas will have his Measured chip coming along from a sizable distance on the island par 37. Comes up a little short as he would have liked it to be. Shows the severity of that uphill slope which most of the part after you make it to that plateau is a little bit running away from the players towards the water body. So you have got to be very, very careful with this chip or part of respectively what you have left for yourselves. Seems to be uh, Mr. Sampat Chari has had a little fun with the flag position on number seven. Yes, uh, the seventh as it is, is one of the more difficult greens to hit with as because not just the width of the green is uh, a little less than players would prefer for an island green water guards this mean on all sides. Ravi Kumar now has quite a sizable putt uh, it seems like his, his ball in the hole are in two different zip codes as we go to live feed number two and we see uh, now we know where Shitij's golf ball on number nine ended up so he has a little chip we watched Gaurav Pratap and Sudhir Sharma from a similar position early on uh, Gaurav Pratap uh, uh, if I remember correctly missed his par from there oh no I think he made a par and uh, Sudhir Sharma as well so maybe not that difficult but as we say that Shitit seems to have miffed his chip yes easy to catch a little extra grain of grass and uh, not get the desired result of impact what the player is looking for and uh, resultant of which we just saw Shitit struggling with uh, his chip shot on hole number nine as what we just saw in live feed one, we saw the mighty whack which Ravi had to impart on the ball for the ball to barely make it to the correct distance on the green. So shows you the length of this green is very big and uh, the mound and the contouring are playing a bit of a trick or two. Absolutely, as you know, what Sakib, but uh, a quick update on the man in the moment, 
a little behind the lead, Angad Chima is buried number 10. And through 12 holes is seven under par for the day. Sake makes a brilliant but almost holds it. A very impressive stroke. As a very impressive round going on by Angad Chima, who sees himself only four back with Aman Raj. Um, do you think uh, he has enough holes to maybe catch up to that number? Yes, Angad, with the streak of birdies and that solitary eagle, he definitely has not only the holes but also the caliber to catch up with the leader. And as we can see, he's the hottest player in the field for the day at seven and a par in a mere stretch of 12 holes. There's a realistic chance of Angad posting an early leaderboard target of the club at the clubhouse. Yes, absolutely. A lot depends on how Aman Raj goes about his day, but uh, seems to be that Angad has decided he's going to make him play and get the win and not just let it slip by uh, so easily. Yeah, the three point for Yashash on seventh has put him two shots away from the leader at 15 and a half. But with a relatively reachable par five eighth up for grabs for the very next hole for them, I won't be surprised with all three of these Sakeb. Ravi and Yashash try to make amends and take the bigger stride towards the leaders. Yes, and now we can watch uh, both Ravi Kumar and the sharp looking Amardeep Malik attempting their putts on hole number seven and hole number nine, respectively. Amardeep Malik is ready before Ravi, or they're both going to probably strike it at the same time. Ravi makes his on the seventh. And Amar does the same on number nine without a problem, walks it in. So yes, good uh, finish to those holes for both of them. It's both making it look very simple. Not as simple as it is for uh, Shitij on this respective hole as he will have this left for his bogey on the short par three. Next. Yes. After uh, Eagle on the sixth, Shitij has uh, gone into a little slow, a little reverse mode. He's made bogey on number seven, bogey on number eight, and uh, bogey on number nine as well. So he's moving along the other way, in the other direction. But uh, he still has nine more holes to catch up, change the story for his round and his tournament. So as you can see, the golf course has provided ample opportunities to birdie for the entirety of the field. It just goes to showcase that someone who finds themselves after a good part of all the first two, three rounds done, a person sitting at level par finds himself at a tight 37th position. So it goes to show the depth of the field and uh, players making most of the immaculate playing conditions presented by HGA for the 2023 Telangana Golconda Masters which supports a price purse of whopping one CR. They have anted the tally of last season by adding 60 lakhs to it and from 40 lakhs this becomes one of the premier events at a price purse of one CR. Good to see Bolini Panash and Telangana Tourism, which have come together to make this happen. Big shout out to all three Bolini Panash, Telangana Tourism, and uh, HGA for hosting the venue. It's companies and big brands like this which are coming up alongside and partnering up with Professional World Tour of India to make golf a more exciting sport, a more available sport and uh, a sport which we all would like to consider and give it a realistic chance as a 
career absolutely and uh, speaking of our very special presenting partner bulaneni panash uh, they offer an very exquisite uh, living in kondapur for a very limited 44 families and the experience of luxury living with an infinity pool and a 15000 square feet uh, clubhouse so very special sponsors for a very special event that currently aman raj has uh, one hand on on the trophy uh, and the win but by a very slim margin of one shot followed very closely by players at 15 under and 14 under so it's uh, really anybody's game uh, a birdie here a bogey there for the right or the uh, right player at the right time and things can take a quick change so very exciting to see how this tournament progresses and we're all tuned in for the same we're all tuned in to see and watch all of that happen yes uh, aman raj akshay yashash ravi and sachin all find themselves at the top 5 positions respectively at 17 16 15 and tied 14th 14 under par let's see who comes up on top as of moment uh, a betting man's race horse derby aman raj is up and running and is keeping a one shot difference from people trying to chase him and akshay would be looking to up his tally of under par and catch up to the leader what a beautiful sight of the venue the host venue hga you can see the lush green flora and fauna and uh, in the backdrop is the beautiful golconda fort as yes, while we watch those beautiful sights we 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 watch uh, yashas coming right back up with a birdie on number 8 and putting himself only a shot behind aman raj yashas seems to be one of the leaders uh, in the one of the players in the leading pack taking strong charge as we watch on our screens him going to tackle number 9 he seems to be safely on the green there uh, not just on the green with a very very makeable birdie chance as well just under the hole so yashas seems to have found his grip after that little bogey on number 7 with the length of this par 3 and from what we can see the wind seems to have been getting a little calmer look forward to seeing the players taking dead aim at the flag stick and give themselves a relatively shorter birdie putt yes and as we can see two one two three balls coming out from respectively different angles of the flag stick all three have found uh, the green on ninth and will have each will have their own birdie parts long side but a sizable distance away all the three balls from the flag stick so let's see who makes it and uh, max is out on the opportunity in front of them yeah 100% uh, i think three goal shots uh... three balls in the green on number 9 is a good group a group who's in control of the ball striking they are going um let's talk a little about our leaders here you think from a standpoint of nerves uh, it 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 was easier for akshay sharma to tee off knowing he has to catch the leader rather than being the leader 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Akshay will be looking to capitalize on the hot starts which he's been giving himself courtesy the previous weeks which he's been playing and this week also. So it's never easy to be carrying the sole wire to wire lead throughout the week, but uh, a short here and there is sometimes what do you call it a word of requirement where the player is slightly easier or calmed up than being the leader i i agree with that because i feel if if someone has a two or three shot lead they still have a little cushion and that can give comfort but if you're holding on to a one shot lead uh, a stroke here and there is very easy to lose or gain so i would imagine that if you're a stroke behind it might not be that difficult for you to think that you're uh, basically right up there and just have a good day and you can catch up. Yes, with the talent on display on your screens with these youngsters, a shot of difference is pretty much not a concern as uh, all of them have the capabilities to produce birdies on pretty much every hole. Yes, and we will now watch uh, Saqib making an effort for the same. Yes, Saqib from uh, having the longest birdie part on this shortish part three. It's more of a lag part, I would presume, coming out from that far out because uh, there is a sizable break on this part, as you can see, Saqib giving it attention from where he thinks the ball is going to move substantially. So once you see a player moving towards a particular spot and reverse his putting stroke, that means that is the area where he thinks that the ball is going to break sharply towards either of the directions. And here's a live look at what Sakit has done after reading the break. He's done a wonderful job of that part. Um, well, a very outside chance of holding it, but he did give it a fair shot. Yes, these are the kind of parts one would like to occasionally hold to give that extra spring in your foot and a little more confidence for the rest of the round. Absolutely. And uh, won't Yashas want to make this uh, uh, a little long birdie part, but make this birdie and go into the back nine knowing he might be tied for the lead with nine to play. Yash is also very deliberate with his pre-shot routine and setup. Just wants to make sure every little detail of him taking a stroke is sorted before he does so. And he's left it a little short, but should be tap in range. So a par is not harmful at all, especially on the ninth. Yes, uh, Yashas, after that uh, Aaron three part on hole number seven has made a quick bounce back as he birdied the eighth hole, par five, and just left it in the jaws on hole number nine. So, yes, uh, he's again way back on to trying to chase the leader group, uh, sorry, the leader Amraj, where he finds himself at four under par for the day and a total of 16 under par tied with Akshay Sharma and what a beautiful role on the ball by Ravi. Ravi also seems to be making amends of his uh, flutter on hole number eight. Eighth is a par five where none of these players would be having a comfortable walk after if they have bogeyed that hole. Very surprising for players of their caliber walking off with a bogey on any of these holes, be it alone a par 5. Now we watch uh, 
Akshar Sharma on the set, par 5, uh, hitting his third. And uh, although he did get disturbed by the spectators, it's still a wonderful sight to watch spectators and coming, watching golf live, watching these players do what they do best. And uh, Akshay seems to have, uh, well, a little unsure where the ball is, but uh, we will see in a bit. And talking of players making amends, uh, we have Abhinav Lohan from Faridabad, the winner on tour, started off uh, a little disappointingly with a double on the first, but has clawed his way back to two under par for the day, which is very impressive. Yes, so, a, yes a bit of a horrid start for Abhinav Lohan, a former winner on tour, but uh, as you rightly noticed, he's making amends of all those wrongs and has found himself in red figures for the day. Yes, uh, even if the birdies are on offer, it's usually very difficult to start off poorly and make your way back, which also goes to show that the quality of players and the quality of golf, uh, whether it be around the top of the leaderboard or in the middle of the pack, it is as high as it can get. Speaking of which, we also had Om Prakash Chauhan, our current order of merit leader on a fairly hot start, uh, who's just stumbled a little with the bogey on number 11, but is still leading, uh, sorry, he's still uh, three under par for the day as we watch some top tracer from uh, the hole, from hole number nine, uh, that was Shitij. And now Harinder Gupta piercing a low one through the gap onto the green. Now we saw him miss a short one for birdie on number nine. But it was a very good shot too, hmm. say the least. Yes, uh, absolutely. And uh, Akshay finds himself in a very horrid light behind the green on hole number eight. Seems to have... Uh, Got a flyer from that third shot which he was hitting. Very easy to for that to happen for any player, as the rough surrounding or hugging the fairways and the greens is quite dense. Yes, and as we saw, uh, Amardeep Malik was in a very very similar situation, and he uh, blasted his chip over the green it uh, ran by a little more than he would have intended but the shot in itself is very difficult from that position so we'll have to see what akshay sharma is able to manage and pull through Kind of shots which can be make or break momentum for anybody as uh, this is round four and uh, Aman Raj is also a sizable distance away from the hole. Both Aman and Akshay are in some thick stuff around the greens and uh, will be a great opportunity for them to showcase their short game skills. Absolutely, and uh, as the ball is rolling more and more, it seems like Aman's done a very good job from that distance. And uh, I could also assume that maybe because he's uh, that far out to the left and long, he maybe attempted to go uh, on on to two um, on this hole on this par five. Yes, absolutely. Uh, as if there is not enough danger lurking around on this golf course, you can see two gentlemen in the background of your screens as the tournament director and uh, another referee keeping a close eye on what the pace of play or any rulings help needed by the players out on the golf course. Yes, and uh, uh, Akshay Sharma was very quick, very swiftly played his shot, right? Uh, as uh, when Aman Raj did and uh, seems like he's done a very good job of it. Yes, from that horrid line, he's hit a very, very good shot. As we were mentioning, he would like to keep up pace with the leaders and not let the margin increase by dropping a shot. 
Sachin with a sizable birdie putt from for his own uh, would like to march along to an even even par round after that solitary bogey which he had on hole number five. A three par from that far out was a realistic possibility, but uh, rather unfortunate for the player. Yes, and uh, we will soon know what that putt was for, but it was a very well read putt. Uh, anytime you're outside the 15, 20 feet range on these greens and you have a tap in for a second putt, you've done a good job. Amanaj now sizing up his part. And he rolls it into the hole. Yes, and a small fist pump by Amanraj it means that that would have definitely been a birdie and uh, he shall be able to separate himself from uh, the duo of Yashash and Akshay who are chasing him in hot pursuit by just a shot, which means the lead could be a two shot lead now with mere 10 holes to go. Yes, things are now getting more interesting and heating up. Akshay with a beautiful up and down. Aman Raj seems to not at all uh, let up on the lead he seems to be in control and is asking all the other players if you want to catch me you are the ones who will have to make the birdies and eagles i'm going to steadily make my pars and birdies and try running away with it yes absolutely uh, all three in the leader group uh, aman akshay and sachin are proven winners and uh, will be cutting no corners of mercy for their playing partners. Yashash will have to break through the shackles and try to find a way to creep up past Aman Raj if he wants to have his first solitary win on tour. Yes, and here's a look at the top five players occupying the top five honors of uh, the round four of the Telangana Golconda Masters 2023. Amandras leading the fray by one shot at 17 under par, finding himself in pole position where Yashas and Akshay Sharma are in hot pursuit of the leader, both at 16 under par types again. Ravi and Sachin alongside each other find themselves at 14 under par for a tide of fourth position. the Telangana Masters at Hyderabad, which has a price burst of a whopping 1 CR, 
the tournament format is stroke play and uh, we are pretty much done with the, the majority of round four which is the final round of this beautiful tournament which means in a mere span of nine holes we will have a new leader who will be able to lift up the trophy and cement his name alongside some greats in terms of the previous winners be it Ajitesh Sandhu, Udyan Mane, Manu Gandas, all prolific players of their own and all three of them have had this trophy on more than one occasion. And as we see a slight change in the leader group as Akshay has uh, had a slip up of fortunes and has double bogeyed the relatively simpler par 5 eighth and finds himself at tied third at 14 under par and here's a look at the protester technology that's the tree which uh, very comfortably is being maneuvered by all the field to find their destination as we just saw Sakib take it absolutely over the flagstick and merely missed out on his birdie approach after that beautiful tee shot which he had hit now this is this things makes a little more interesting yashas and aman both are at tied first spot yashas who finds himself four under par for the day has crept up a sizable four shot lead deficit to find himself along with aman raj And the hottest player on the golf course out right now, who's done with his 12 holes, is uh, Angad Chima. He finds himself 7 under par for the day and just a mere 3 shots away from the leader. Exciting times as we find the leaderboard. Sorry, uh, the leaders on the green of ninth hole, the relatively short par three. Watching all the players take on this par three, I'm reminiscent of the last time I was around here on the practice round where I checked make a hole in one, and that's a bit of a heartbreak for Sachin. As most of the way we alongside him thought that that ball is finding the bottom of the hole. We are still trying to contemplate and wonder how that ball stayed out of the hole. Must have looked very, very enticing for Ravi all the way. Aman Raj, after a bit of a slip up on the previous hole, 8th, par 5, is a reasonable distance away from the hole and he's elected to chip it. I think he's also trying to take the Slightly, slightly downhill slope on the green out of play by flying the ball ahead of that slope. Judging by the practice stroke he's making, seems like he might go for the bump and run. Uh, we know very shortly. It's never easy to gauge uh, the slopes on these greens and Aman has done a reasonable 
job with his chip. Maybe all of three feet left for him for that power formality. Yes, but uh, now we can see with uh, Yashas catching up and uh, Ravi Kumar also in close pursuits with Sachin and Akshay that uh, this tournament is far from over. Another very near miss for Akshay. Akshay needs to change gears very quickly after that misfortunes on the par 5 seven, uh, sorry, par 5 8 where he double bogeyed. A very, very rare sighting from a leader group where you get to see a double bogey, especially on a par 5. Yes, but uh, I think that's the problem with par 5s as well. At some point, uh, people are just wanting to be over aggressive and you pay the penalty for it as well. Yes. Uh... So there, there's this theory where you can you need to press the floor as in accelerate a little bit, but you also have to pick and choose the various holes and type of shots which you want to accelerate upon and stay aggressive so as to make the most of the opportunities. Yes, Namaraj cleaning up, uh, going into the back nine now. Final round of the fourth day. Uh, Aman Raj now knows uh, he would surely take a look at the leaderboard and know that he's not now leading the tournament and is tied with uh, Yashas with a bunch of players following in close pursuit. So stay tuned in. We have some very, very exciting golf and very exciting finish seems like coming up our way. As you can now see, look at the updated leaderboard with Yashas now holding the co-lead with Aman Raj, followed by Ravi Kumar, Sachin Desoya, and Akshay Sharma at 14 under. And two strokes, as we all know, is not a very big margin in golf. And the hottest player on the day today, having a very, very strong round of seven under par to the first, while Wanga Chima is sole sixth, followed by an order of merit leader, Om Prakash Chauhan at 11. With our very jovial Gaurav Pratap Singh at 11 and Amardeep Malik and Shitaj Navid Paul all at 11 under par. Yes, all these players have uh, the caliber to outclass each other. And uh, the in most recent forms, we can see Angad showcase that red figures are available to grab. And the speed which he's going at it is tremendous. 7 under par for... 12 holes, 13 under par for the week, a mere three shots away from the lead. So, as rightly mentioned by my co-host, exciting times as we are drawing towards the conclusion of the final round of the Telangana Golconda Masters 2023, presented by Telangana Tourism and Bolini Pinash. This, these two the wrists, the action of the wrists cause all the problems in golf. And here's a look at uh, what we had a golf clinic at the HGA Hyderabad, which was conducted by the superstar so, uh, Rahil Ganji. Rahil himself is very meticulous about how he approaches the game leaving no stone unturned so the, the is trying to only, explain to the, more, the, more the local members and the people who have come out for the clinic as to how to go about the game and improve your skills good to see some youngsters and uh, people of all array of ages enjoying the insights of a multi-talented multi-winner clear Rahel who finds himself back on the tour it moves in more restricted Back on the ways. tour with this, even who has ways. recovered from a very severe injury, All right, a rear ankle. So we try and only have 
always a very good way for any player to give back to the game which has been so kind to especially to uh, all the players who have done it for a year my first thought is this being the engine of the of the swing this starts the whole thing it's very simple all this doesn't move just think that your hands are cast in cement you've placed them here you can't do this you can't do this you can't do anything with your hands okay all the way through the swing what you can do is you can only move this your mid mid section your what they call the belly button so he actually got me to do this um, drill where i put my club in my belly button and hold it as though i'm going to hit a shot and then i practice moving my mid section away only up to my thigh that is the most uh, important move is from here to here that's it nothing else moves only the mid section moves which cause so this move which causes this to move which causes these to move because they're, because they're not attached thank god <laughs> so just move this and these will move okay so once you get here yes then the hands start to go up on my right shoulder so again to simplify it i just try and move from right shoulder and on the way down this starts it so somebody he used to stand behind me and pull my pocket left so my hip goes forward and then starts to move backwards okay so it's it's the mid this again is the mid section which is starting the down swing which causes the hands to fall in this in this slot automatically automatically you don't you don't people think that the hands are doing the the moving it's actually the body the torso and the mid section which are doing the moving which are causing the hands to come down and then move through the shot okay so it's not the hands which are doing the so a lot of people get to the top with their hands they haven't moved their body their body is still here then once they get to the top they move down with their hands because it's the first thing that's holding the club it's your hands that's what you feel it's human to 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 do, to do that so the first thing they move is the hands but that's not the first thing to move your mid section and then of course your hips start the down swing so it's it's quite simple the, the mid section starts the back swing and it's, it starts the down swing also it's not the hands you got to forget about the hands over a period of time of practice your hands will start to be able to catch up with your body and it will sync with your body that's that's what golf is the synchronization of mid section with your hands back through so we don't we, we're not saying use use this this too much because that's going to cause havoc simple it is very simple to say from after going up swing you know this eh? so that yes. it automatically comes down yes but practically it is very difficult how can you give me some drill or something like that which make me to take this hands on the down it is something that i can i can give you a feel of like if i if i'm teaching somebody you know if you, if you come here you want to so over it i tell you over it so i do like this yeah and i wanted to come like this you know, with yes. my belly with yes. my tip so that it comes automatically yes. it doesn't happen it just comes must come so you 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 feel you're doing what then you I, feel you're... i i feel i'm doing my hands also move while i was rotating this so that Both the combination is okay And here's another look at the magnificent golf course. The drone coverage of any venue, which is a welcome introduction to this season, just takes away and uh, the troubles of the golf course and gives you such breathtaking views that even if you've just begun the game or are thinking of picking up the game, would definitely give it another serious look and uh, probably. get out of the comfort zones of your ac environment and test out your own skill levels
So some really good pilot work. I think that's what it's called, piloting a drone. Yes, and what uh, better than Kapil Paji yesterday explaining the boons of playing golf and how whether you're comp competing or whether you're playing for leisure, the benefits in the numerous ways, advantages of being in a golf course, the serenity, the calm, the peace, and even the little tribes and tribulations and little competitions that you go through when you're playing golf. I think as a sport, it's a wonderful sport for all ages. What do you think is the next, uh, where do you think Indian golf will be in five years, 10 years? Do you think we'll have a major winner in the next five years? Yeah, with the showcase of talent on display, five years seems a little far-fetched out. I won't be surprised in as much as recent times as the number of Indian participants in majors is increasing. With uh, Anirban and Shubhankar being a regular feature representing the Indian flags uh, on the majors, it is a very realistic possibility to see somebody come out, break out and uh, get home one of those top trophies of golf back to the domestic soil. Absolutely. And uh, adding on to that would also be, uh, we might actually have a first major, first Indian major winner through women's golf. Yes, absolutely. The girls are leaving no stones unturned. In up recent times, we saw how close Aditi Ashok came up. Yes, absolutely. And uh, one would be in agreement that when we talk about bringing a major in golf, it is uh, surpassing gender, whether we do it through women's golf or men's golf, a major for the country is the next step in progress because we have winners all across the board. We have winners in all every tour and we have winners on the PGA tour. We have winners on the LPGA. We have winners on the LET. We have winners on the DP world tour, Asian tour. So we've made a mark everywhere and we've made this mark with all these players actually coming up through the professional ranks in the country which goes to show the level of competition week in, week out, every year, the quality of players that we are churning out. As uh, my co-host Aditya had mentioned, Manu Gandas taking his trade on the DP World Tour currently, playing some big events, playing around major names, and they're all extremely impressive. And... Uh, which is also going to add other player names like Veer Alawat and Shubhankar Sharma, Karandeep Kochar. The, there's no dearth of names of Indian golfers out around the world riding the flag high. And I think for professional golf in India, it's a proud, it, it should be a proud statement to say that all these players have honed their skills on the PGTI and then moved up and from time to time come back and play on our tour and compete on our tour as well. Also interesting turn of events, uh, while we were talking about the glorious Indian golfers, one of, um, one of our star players on the PGTI has made a couple of birdies on hole number 14 and 15 and is at 9 under par for the day and is threatening the course record set by Manu Gandas at 10 under where he still has 3 holes left and that would be Angad Chima. He's put himself at 15 under. Just one stroke adrift of our leaders Yashas Chandra and Aman Raj at 16 under. This is truly a very, very impressive performance and to do it on a Saturday, to do it in the 4th round of a golf tournament is even more impressive. Yes, absolutely. Anga Chima seems to be a man possessed with a single goal birdie each and every hole in his path. At 15 under par, a total of 9 under par in only 15 holes just goes to show the no lack of dearth of talent this man hosts. Yes, uh, the course record stands at 10 under par. But uh, unfortunately, today we are playing left clean in place. So, I'm not... I mean, uh, even if Angad 
they just stand under par unfortunately it would not hold as a course record as uh, nothing taking away from the player who is already sitting pretty at 9 under par with three holes to go i won't be surprised if angad has marks his score card with a few more birdies and posts the challenge up for the people to come and catch him absolutely and you know what they say about records they're meant to be broken and angad seems to be following suit uh, very interested to see what he does for the last final three holes and uh, while that is happening we still have uh, aman raj and yashas leading the way the pack is still chasing them uh, angad of course uh, doing the more, more doing most of the chasing but along with the angad is ravi kumar at 15 and he has a few more holes and he saw, he seems to have found uh, a rhythm in the last couple of holes he's uh, made a couple of birdies on number 9 and number 10 to so see we interesting to see who actually catches up or maybe the leaders put some daylight between them and the chasing pack in the next few holes we are not sure and we'll have to find out by watching the coverage watching it live as will you as we are presenting to you the fourth round of the telangana golconda masters presented by bolineni panache and telangana tourism 2023 so stay tuned and we hopefully have a very exciting finish at our hands yes not only exciting times in what's happening in golconda the professional golf tour is going to be traveling big and mighty in various cities of the country most up most of all which in recent times is going to be jammu panchkula chandigarh digboy gurugram kolkata jaipur and jamshedpur so log on to the different portals of professional golf tour of india to know when the tour is circling around in your city to enjoy some beautiful golf and scenic views at various different venues the tour after a series of events which was in vizag and now in hyderabad will be traveling to its next destination in jammu the price purse for that event stands allowed to be at 50 lakhs and it will be a stroke play event thereafter we come into the city of panchkula in haryana where the price purse goes up substantially to 1 cr so the jump in money is definitely happening and we need to acknowledge the good work put in by the tournament sorry uh, the ceo of professional golf tour of india mr uttam singh mandi and the board members and the various sponsors who are making all of this happen pgti will be traveling to for to the jeev milka singh invitational the week after in chandigarh for a whopping 1.5 cr and then some tea tasting competitions might actually happen in the city of dig boy where players find themselves contending for the ioc masters and then we are back in the delightful city of lights speed and uh, pretty much any kind of thoughts which we would want to entertain in terms of gurugram as the man the legend kapil dev will be hosting grand thornton invitational which has uh, which is going to repeat itself for the second season after being inducted last season on the professional golf tour of india and not only that are they renewing the partnership with pgti they have up to the ante by 1 cr which means this event stands at 2 cr one of the biggest events which we will be happening on our tour thereafter we find the tour traveling to far east in terms of calcutta where the tournament will be hosted by ssp chorasia at the oldest standing golf course royal calcutta and there we have a look at the order of merit uh we have 
uh, Om Prakash Chauhan with quite a bit of gap between him and uh, Aman Raj who's in place second and uh, as you know he's leading the tournament here in Hyderabad. Uh, third we have Karan Pratap Singh from Guru Gram who's uh, close to Aman Raj so he might have a say into the top two and maybe uh, even with the number of events left in the prize purse left he might even want to challenge for the number one position followed by Sachin Besoya who's playing the leader group here as well and uh, some international flavor with Jamal and Thanga Raja holding the fifth and sixth position and uh, they are followed by Noida's Gaurav Pratap Singh and the young Sanit Bishnoi at seven and eight respectfully with Harinder Gupta and Karthik Sharma rounding up the top 10 of this order of merit which is an updated order of merit after the previous event the Vizag Open and uh, here we stand currently Aman Raj has taken the lead back from the field by birdieing number 10 and he's moved one shot ahead of Yashas and two shots ahead of Angad Chima and Akshay Sharma who sit pretty at 15 under par. Fruitnik Electro Plus. Rehydrate, feel alive. काम घर में कर रहे हों या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हों आप बिना जाने dehydrate हो सकते हैं. रोज जरूरत है Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate. इसका अनोखा R3 formula electrolyte restore करे, glycogen replenish करे और muscles का तनाव कम करे तुरंत energy के साथ. Fruitnik Electro Plus Rehydrate. Yes, and the man who was who shot a 63 yesterday to have a tremendous run in round three has ensured that he has cemented himself a little bit clearer of anybody who is trying to chase him at 17 under par as Aman Raj has birdied the 10th hole par 5. So this is the time for uh, the leaders to try and make headway and get out clear of somebody who's trying to chase them down as both Yashas and Angad are in hot pursuit of the leader. Angad with a beautiful performance of already being 9 under par is taking charge of the round and would certainly be looking forward for the next three holes. And here I'll look at some of the highlights from early out of round four, where every player is trying to 
showcase their talent and uh, reach the top of the pedestal some very beautiful scoring conditions available at display as most of the players are looking forward to capitalize on the round 4 and uh, up the ante of not only the prize purse but also give themselves a chance of winning this title and it's the leader's job mr haman raj the man from patna with the beautiful 63 yesterday to keep every challenge at bay well uh, the telangana golconda masters 2023 had a bunch of local challenges being posted by a fellow few professionals in forms of uh, azhar hardik and heather hussein along with few amateurs vilok adit and tarun but uh, as we know professional golf tour of india has tournaments being conducted where you have to play all four rounds and there is a halfway mark being applied after two days so unfortunately for the local challenge uh, it was only mohammad azhar who could find the halfway mark and is trying to post the local flavor at hyderabad those who do not know that the hyderabad golf association the hea which means the hyderabad golf club is span over of 212 acres of land where it where you get to play 18 holes over a stretch of 6017 yards the layout is a par 70 and also features a flood lit driving range a pro shop a golf fitting shop which unlike most of the venues is not available so great job on the facility to also have a fitness golf fitting shop along with that the beautiful gym which they post helps a modern day clubhouse with dining halls lounges open decks change rooms etc they even have a squash court in the basement so big improvements with the new clubhouse and uh, will encourage or everybody to take up this golf game a little bit more seriously as it provides ample opportunity to enjoy the game further better absolutely a lot on offer for all the spectators and the players alike and uh, as we said we moved into the back nine of this very beautiful and challenging golf course and soon we will conclude the tournament but it is far from over still as we have a few people around the lead no one seems to have run away with it at all yes no one seems to have run away with that but uh, the man who's running towards it is uh, angad chima hot in pursuit of the leaders nine under par as a stellar round going in and uh, 
Speaking of Angad Chima, he's uh, got three more holes left and by the looks of it, seems like he's not uh, done with it. I don't think he's going to be content with just nine under today. And uh, we will see soon though, how the tournament goes and how everything is concluded. But currently we have Aman Raj holding on to a slim one shot lead. And we'll see if that continues or changes. Yes, two out of the three leaders, well, sorry, two out, of the, two out of three players in the leader group, Aman Akshay and Sachin have, two out of them have buried the hole number 10 and uh, moving along just fine. Sachin will have to gear up and uh, produce a few birdies of his own as he's had a very sedate around going in at just one bogey alongside a stretch of 10 pa 9 pars. So very unlike the young man who is very bashful and aggressive about his game. Nonetheless he's got a few holes to go about and I'm sure he would be looking to make amends. It's just a matter of time when a player of his caliber who's had his breakthrough win in this very season at the beautiful Tolly Gunge. And here's a look at that big cannon mounted on at top of the fortified wall of the Golconda Fort. Really wonder what a magnificent feat of architecture this must have been back in the day. Some really, really cool. Drone shots of judging by that cannon, uh, Aditya, you seem strong enough to lift it up and carry it up over that uh, little fort. Yeah, lift it up, pick it up, put it, uh, keep it in my bond bag as long as it's being digitally provided on my iPad. <laughs> Rest, I won't be able to move. Climb up where it's being mounted. Forget about picking it. And here are some light looks at the magnificent Telangana Golconda Masters 2023 round 4 being telecasted from the Hyderabad Golf Association, Hyderabad Golf Club. Some very exciting rounds being put together by some very exciting players, amongst which Angad is leaving the fray by shooting a 9 under par in a stretch of 15 holes. The beautiful sights of the Hyderabad Golf Club are provided courtesy the media giant AVP. Now, we have to see that the last time in this game, when the players are going to go to the game, they are going to go to the game. They are going to go to the game. संतुलन पे भी काबू रखते हुए एक दूसरे से आगे निकलकर इस ट्रॉफी को अपने मजबूत कंधों पे उठा पाएगा जिस तरीके से लग रहा है अमन राज इतना आसान नहीं करने देंगे किसी के लिए क्योंकि उन्होंने अपनी लीड बरकरार रखी है अब समय आ चुका है जब हम देखना चाहेंगे कि कौन सा युवा खिलाड़ी है जो अमन राज के को उस उस नंबर पे आकर पकड़ना या उससे आगे चाहेगा क्योंकि 17 अंडर है नंबर जहां पे अमन राज अभी अपने आप को स्थापित कर चुके हैं और ये राउंड किसी बॉलीवुड मूवी की कहानी से ज्यादा 
दिलचस्प लग रहा है मुझे जिस तरीके से अंगद और यशस्क लगे हुए हैं पकड़ने के लिए आज के लीडर को अंगद जिन्होंने बेहतरीन प्रदर्शन से अपने आप को नॉन रूप पे ला चुके हैं आज के राउंड के लिए और यशस है चार रन पे सिर्फ एक और दो शॉट पीछे लीडर से सो एक्साइटिंग टाइम्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एज वी आर ड्राइंग टूवर्ड्स द कंक्लूजन ऑफ व्हाट सीम्स टू बी द फाइनल राउंड ऑफ द तेलंगाना गोलकुंडा मास्टर्स यस एब्सोल्युटली राइट एंड वी हैव बीन विद यू सिंस द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस कवरेज वी हैव बीन विद यू शोइंग यू shots and updating you on uh, who's doing what on the field and bringing you this live coverage from the ABP Media Center and uh, I'm sure and I hope you all have enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed covering all the players and the round and scores that they're going through um again a quick update we have Aman Raj at 17 under and uh, he started with the back nine with a birdie and he's made a par on number 11 and uh, yashas is uh, going steady and he's made three pars on the back nine he's four under for the day 16 under for the tournament which leaves him one shot behind aman raj and angad who is having a stellar round and a very very positive day of golf has made a big jump up the leaderboard and he is nine under for the day 15 under for the tournament two shots behind aman raj and uh, also at 15 under uh, aman raj is playing partner in the leader group akshar sharma who is also through 11 holes so a few holes left a lot of possibilities and we are waiting and seeing who comes up with the goods and holds the nerves to clinch this title in an hour and a half from now Two hours from now, max. Well, uh, after that beautiful 63 in round three, Aman Raj had answered a few questions, and his reply was, "I kept finding the fairways and uh, greens yesterday, and was actually waiting for my first birdie, which came on hole number fourth, and gave me the much-needed momentum." His short game stood out as he was quite confident about his chipping and putting, and therefore was going for pretty much every pin. It seems to be a very good way to go about your uh, golfing round. Yes, in terms of quoting what he was saying, he felt mentally relaxed for this season and. has not been putting too much pressure on himself and that has reflected in his results of what how he is being performing and come tomorrow which is today he just wants to execute whatever he's planned and let's see how things pan out and fall in so some really wise words by the man who is heading all the players a very sound and clear piece of advice which he is giving to himself which any youngster can also abide by if he wants to take this game as a career option 
keep it simple keep it real and try and control the variables which are in your hand rather than trying to run from pillar and post and not get the desired results and left around being a little rather confused than making this a little simple in terms of what Mr. Aman Raj the Patna based golfer has advised around yeah i agree with you there because at the end of the day after a point in time uh, a lot of players might have the same skills and might be highly skilled when it comes to their game and might have a great long game short game putting but the conversation that you have with yourself and the thoughts you have between the two years determine a lot of that access of the skill and a lot of your performance as we see uh, a lot of the players on the top of the leaderboard are consistent players who play well a week in week out and i think the reason they do it also is because of the chat that they have with themselves in between uh, shots during practice in the off season and, and again one of the factors that are that is underrated but as important as actually putting in the hard hours of hitting golf balls and practicing your putting and playing on the course Ramin Raj seems to be doing all of that rather correctly this week. Something really pretty about how high the Golconda fort sits at top of that mountain, which is sitting clear of the rest of the city. What an engineering marvel this fort is! It's withheld the test of time and still stands strong and ever so magnificent. This week we've seen some seriously uh, low scoring by a lot of players where in round 1 Akshay fired up a 9 under par the very subsequent day Sachin with Soya matched the heroics of Akshay and also shot a 9 under par courtesy which both of them are playing the leader group and uh, then round 3 had the heroics of Shitesh now with call a 62 which was the lowest round of the day in round 3 and from the looks of what can quickly be amended by the man hailing from chandigarh angad chima as he already is sitting pretty at 9 under par for the week two shots adrift from the leaders and here's a look at the man who is red hot angad i think that was a mere par he doesn't seem very excited about his par putt rightly so for somebody who's already birdied seven holes and made an eagle also a par would seem like a regular dugment yeah par would uh, seem like a short loss for him and uh, for even us who are uh, watching and following him uh we're expecting more birdies out of him we wish uh, uh for a player who's playing the way he does it we almost wish the round went on for another 18 holes to see what he can do with the, with with the golf course
well as uh, both uh, me and my co-host Ainesh will be trying to test our metal in the next week at the JNK Open I would definitely like to meet the pilot of this drone and pick up a thing or two about how to go about piloting a drone because the views which we are getting out of that drone shot are mesmerizing absolutely I agree with you there as well it's um, it's making the viewing a lot more enjoyable as we watch players on number 17. Our first look at number 17 today. Yes, as we have a look at some live action on hole number 17, on the far left corner, you can see the man from Calcutta, Devyanshu Bajaj, making his way. 17th is one of the more picturesque holes on this golf club and uh, it gives you a very realistic birdie opportunity as the teeing ground is way high up in the pretty much in the skies and the fairway would at least be about 20 25 yards lower from where you are teeing it up so it gives you a complete bird's eye view of the hole i'm not sure which is a good thing because there's a lot of trouble looking towards the left hand side of the entire fairway leading up to the green with a water hazard lurking around but yes, uh, as a scenic point of view, it's a very, very beautiful tee shot. Well, certainly, and as I'm assuming uh, with the winds up today, the higher up you go, the more uh, you're going to feel the wind and feel like overcompensating as well. So. Angad Chima seems to have uh, embraced the conditions today. Yeah, we can't talk enough about the man who's uh, literally on fire as he's producing red after red. An interesting development as we see a little bit of update. Yashas has rejoined after birding the rather difficult path for 13th and has caught up with Aman Raj who is sitting at 17 under par. So that takes Yashas not only in sole lead but also makes him already turn up to 5 under par with his round. And you know with the 14th and 15th coming up you would usually assume that these are the holes that are uh, birdie opportunities. As we saw a lot of players make a bunch of birdies there yesterday which means that uh, Yashas might have the advantage and slowly we might see as the day is progressing and we are getting closer to the conclusion that uh, maybe Yashas and Amanraj uh, by the next two or three holes separate themselves a little bit from the field and it becomes a two-man horse, uh, two, uh, two horse race. Yes, absolutely. Let's look at the 17th green. The whole playing to the max of it length as uh, the flag is extreme at the extreme back edge of the green. You can see the this is Tata Steel, and this is an idea. So, what happens when you join them? Something remarkable, like the material of the future fiber reinforced polymers that goes beyond steel that is high on strength and corrosion resistance and is cost effective. A material that will be used in foot over bridges, the insides of railway compartments and electric vehicles as also an infrastructure for smart cities. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. Hit it at the correct side of that spine in the green which splits this green into pretty much even Stevens 50-50. Bada seems to be enjoying his leisure walk towards the green. 
Yes, he is. He seems to be in no rush to come to the green and handle the contours and different slopes that he'll have to contend with. I think Badal has found himself in, on, in the thick stuff which is uh, guarding the peripheries of the greens and the fairways. Should be an interesting chip, as, but uh, from the looks of it, Badal has uh, enough green to work with. So I'm sure he'll be able to chip this one very close. As, we, as we've seen, most of these Bangladeshi players have a very good short game touch. So my money is on him making his up and down from there. He does seem to have a lot of green to work with and uh, he is having a good day as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if he has the right measure of the greens. As we watch in our live feed uh, number two, that putt coming up a little short. Yeah, uh, and Badal also has left it a sizable distance short, but uh, as it's on the correct side of that uh, spine which splits the green, should be a relatively easy part. I'm presuming Daksh is lining up for his eagle part as uh, he's also a sizable distance away from the hole. Very realistic way, uh, re very realistic hole to attack into. And uh, with the distances the modern age players can reach, pretty much every par five is reachable. Yes, the younger crops, uh, the younger players seem to be so much stronger from the start, uh, which makes it an interesting question. Uh, Aditya, when did you start getting into fitness in your career? Oh, I was always fit when I joined this uh, profession, way fitter before than I joined this profession. The, the profession has taken a bit of a toll on my life, if, if uh, there is anything to say about that. But yes, uh, the younger flock uh, is extremely fit, not only talented, but are making sure that they are using every facet of information available for themselves to hone in and improve their skills. But I can't imagine when you started out, a lot of golfers were into fitness or uh, was the, uh, did the trend already begin watching Tiger do that? Yes, Tiger set the benchmark so high that uh, it was inevitable for people not to take care of fitness. But yes, you're right. Uh, Professional Golf Tour of India, when we were turning pros, we had uh, a lesser number of uh, players who were taking care of fitness as much as we see now but yes we definitely had some really fit players back then and uh, as of today i'm really trying to figure out who is an unfit player Yes, uh, and you can see that elevated green hole at number 13 is uh, posting a bit of a challenge for even players who are substantially under par in their round as Ravi leaves it a reasonable distance short.
an elevated par 4 where the green is higher than the pedestal where the players are coming out of which is the fairway it poses a unique challenge in itself as uh, the surface where the ball is going to land is not visible we are relying on the yardage and pretty much the top of the flag stick and you can see Sakib coming up just a little bit short on his attempt to what I'm presuming would be a birdie putt as he cleans up and walks towards the next tee which is vice versa or, or the flip side of the coin where the tee is elevated and the green is underneath the teeing surface. So very topsy-turvy the back nine of uh, this new gives some very, very interesting options to how about and manufacture your round. Yeah, the more we talk about the golf course, the more it seems like uh, it wanting you to give an exciting and uh, uncertain finish, given how many players we have around the lead, while we watch uh, Yashas sizing up his putt on number 13. And right about now seems like the time where uh, no one would want to miss any strokes or give away any shot because this is going to determine where you finish on the leaderboard and he certainly has he has the run on the green since the morning we've been watching him hold so many putts today yes it would be interesting to see what putt was that by yashas because if it was a birdie putt then he is at a tide of first position with Aman Raj, what a beautiful time to hold a, such an important part in this round. With only five holes to go, Yashas has made a strong case for the contention of this trophy. He's making the right move at the right time. As uh, we've seen from rounds one, two, and three, there ample opportunities to birdie in the back nine of the beautiful HGA. Would be interesting to see how both Yashas and Aman go about their business. And I'm very keenly awaiting the updates of what is happening with the, the man from Chandigarh, Angad Chima's round. As, as it would be interesting to see what number he would post up post 18 holes. Absolutely, I'm very keen on that. And as we speak, uh, the tall, lanky Angad Chima marking his golf ball on number 18, repairing his pitch marks. Wind seems to be affecting him a little more than uh, the other players, but uh, his tall structure it reduces a lot of speed, and uh, he's obviously very flamboyant he, he like we see currently he's nine under par as well and uh, we'll, we'll see in a bit what scores he's gone up through on the last three yes uh, it'll be interesting to see what part Angad faces because he's a sizable distance away from the world as uh, his ball finds the front edge of the green and the pole is cut pretty much center right corner of the green and here's another look here's the first look actually at uh, Muhammad Azar who's leading or still bearing the flag for Hyderabad golf as he's the sole Hyderabad based golfer who finds himself in round four after making cut yes and while uh... He hydrates himself and gets ready for the shot. Uh, what do you think, he, since you played a lot of golf with Angad as well, what do you think are his strengths? His strengths over the years that uh, get him to produce so many good rounds week in, week out for many, many years now? Well, Angad is not only an aggressive player, but a very good ball striker. So, not only does he take capitalize on uh, the length, but uh, his accuracy is very high and when he gets his but a hot, there is 
no stopping the man as he has just showcased how low and how fast and how low he can get nirmal yeah, azhar also coming up with a brilliant shot uh, playing alongside angad and uh, i can only imagine if uh, what do you think happens when someone in your group is playing around like he is does it uh, give you a boost or uh, usually maybe it uh, dejects you because you're not uh, making the same scores while we see a beautiful shot from the left side of the green on number 18 so people doing a little better on number 18 than they did yesterday yes absolutely uh 18th hole playing relatively better with the scoring average from yesterday yes uh, and uh, with the remarkable talent what we are seeing on display i'm sure uh anybody who sees their fellow competitor getting into deep red numbers would rather only be encouraged and uh, acknowledge also of how good the playing partner is playing plus at times knowing that you are competing alongside your playing partner but them having a day like angad is having uh want to also take a take a take a moment of admiration and say you know what i'm going to also enjoy this as a spectator because while you're playing golf and competing you're also a fan of the sport and here's a look at some live action by the man who is red hot angad chima where we presume it to be his birdie attempt on the 72nd hole of the tournament oh watching him leave it short is is heartbreaking as i'm sure for him as well but uh uh however he might have concluded that hole it has still been a brilliant round of golf as it is being also played uh, by two veterans uh, an order both in the top 10 of the order and one of them actually leading the order of merit om prakash chauhan is at 6 under with three birdies on the trot at number 13 14 and 15 and he's 6 under for the day and he's at 14 under and uh, gorav pratap singh from noida charismatic jovial personality of gorav pratap singh he is at 5 under par for the day also at 14 under which i would now assume is a little maybe like a couple of shots too far back from the leaders uh, three shots back uh, currently but I think a little difficult for people on at fourteen under to chase the leaders at seventeen under. Yes, uh, funnier things have happened in uh, golf, and I won't count out both these uh, veterans, somewhat of veterans, as uh, all Om Prakash and uh, Gaurav Pratap are striding forward in the right direction, at least. Shethesh himself has birdied a trio of. 13th 14th and 15th placing him also at a sheer tied at 6th alongside Om Prakash Gaurav and Ravi Kumar so with eager awaited breaths not only are we looking at who is going to win the trophy but we also want to see some challenges being thrown towards the top two men Aman Raj and Yashash Chandra as are looking up to clean up relatively simple but my presumption is going to move a little bit neither sides <laughs> <laughs> that always helps finishing your uh, 72nd hole but yes given what you said with the players posing a challenge uh, we just saw 
uh, how Yash has made a birdie on 13 and Amarat said, uh, you know what, what you can do, I can do better or if not better, I can do the same. So uh, Aman Raj now has taken a slim one stroke lead over Yashas, but he is three shots clear of the guys behind Yashas. So slowly turning out to be a two horse race. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Aman has uh, upped the ante by birding 13th hole and uh, moving himself one shot clear and breaking the tie at number one spot with Yashas. So, works cut out for anybody who is attempting to catch them. And here is a look at what would seem to be the last stroke of the day for Angad. Yes, and that is a brilliant way to finish his round. And he's capped off a wonderful day's work. Yes, he has leapfrogged from being pretty much way out of it into giving himself a realistic chance. Yes, he might be a little short from the winning number, but uh, he's propelled himself in the top five and he's ensured a very well-deserved uh, paycheck for the week. It's a very well-deserved paycheck and uh, marks a good comeback for somebody who has uh, been out of contention for a decent amount of time as it's difficult to keep down good players of his caliber for a long time. So with a bunch of tournaments coming up, I'm sure he would like to capitalize and uh, maybe up the ante from where he's finished this week. Absolutely. And you know, it is always dangerous to watch uh, players like Angad and uh, the likes of him because once they start finding the rhythm, they're knocking on the door very consistently, consistently for weeks and weeks. And uh, I can imagine a win might be close and close enough for a player like him. What's interesting is uh, the shade of darkness covering the golf course. I'm presuming it's just a big cloud moving about as uh, we do not want the rain gods to come into play and spoil the party. And here's a look at uh, Divyanshu and Badal striding up on the hole number 18. One of them has come up a little short than he would have liked on this green, which would leave for an interesting up and down to save their pass. Let's see who it is. Now, first look at the tea box on number 18. And to revive your memories, uh, I would like my co-host Aditya to explain the dangers of this hole. Yes, uh, a very interesting hole as Shankar Das has given the almighty heave to this golf ball. And uh, that is because there is a danger in forms of uh, a bunk, two bunkers on the right hand side and a very realistic out of bounds and also a bunker on the left hand side. So. It's pretty much threading the needle on this hole and the further out you can blast that ball, uh, the better the chances of taking the dangers out of play. And here is a look at the man who has been leading the professional golf tour of India's Order of Merit, Om Prakash Chauhan, who's having a beautiful round of his own.
and the man from Andorra who's bearing the flag high for his country is Kevin. Let's see how soft or how bashful he is with his approach shot. And here is a look at that 15th hole which we were talking about. A very realistic hole not only to birdie but to eagle also. As we see, players are weighted and uh, Harinder Gupta has found the front edge after that chip attempt. Very realistic hole to drive upon as the distance is not massive but you have to shape the ball towards the out of bounds which is absolutely adjacent to the green so you got to, if you're sharp and have a brave heart you can definitely take this hole up and uh, walk away with the birdie but uh, danger is lurking on the right side as in terms of out of bounds but very thick rough and dense bushes which cover the greens left hand side corner As we watch uh, the unmissable Harinder Gupta attempting his putt on number 15 just off the green. He seems to have done a decent job of it given a lot of undulations and slope we can see on the camera itself which means uh, the slope might actually be a lot more than we can see. And we have uh, Amardeep Malik always looking sharp, measuring his putt, carefully planning, confirming the line with his caddy. And they've made a decision and they're sure of the line. Now he's just going to take a few practice swings. Amadeem Malik having a good, quiet day is uh, just inside the top 10, sitting at 11 under. Just misses out. I think he had the right line, just not enough pace. Uh, tough to gauge, actually, because you look at it, the slope, it's uh, the greens are faster. So you don't want to run it by and leave yourself a three footer down part as well. So all in all, I would assume that that wasn't a bad effort at all. Moving on, now we have number 17, the par 5, and this could be the hole where a lot is decided and a lot changes. We will have to see at the, as we get closer to the conclusion of the tournament.
And we started off our day with Anshul Patel, and now we have a look at him at number 17. Yes, Anshul seems to be getting his third shot because where his ball is, I would imagine that area is not accessible after the tee shot. So he would be looking at a fairly lengthy third shot coming in to the par 5 17. Uh, he seems to have uh, played it a little to his right, uh, but nonetheless, he has a lengthy birdie part, which I'm presuming. Yes, uh, and the cloud cover would definitely give it a little bit of a sign of ease. And the wind seems to have picked up as we have a look at Mr. Gaurav Pratap Singh, the man from Noida, a recent winner in the 2023 season. Let's see where he ends up with his third shot. A very sneak like shaped hole where the fairways is cut out in pretty much uh, an S shape. So you also have to be very mindful if you are laying up with your second shot. Yeah, it seems to be leaning left, which means usually the ball is a little right. And uh, it, it, it's, it's okay. I mean, uh, it's uh, not in uh, Anshul Patel's territory. And you'll also get a fair amount of read as Anshul is a little bit further away, pretty much on the same lines. Yes, I wonder where... Uh... The playing partner is, I think uh, they were paired with Sudhir Sharma. He seems to be well, close to our cameras. He's already up on the green. He's he's in a rush to finish. Yes, uh, Sudhir is not having the round he would have uh, looked forward to. But uh, nonetheless, uh, he, from where his ball has ended up, should be there in two. As length is not an issue for somebody of Sudhir's capabilities of hitting. Would be a refreshing change if we could pop this one into the bottom of the hole. Yes, and uh, we know he has, he has a better finish than his uh, roommate Angad. We were excited for his uh, nine under pass. He finished with a little uh, blemish, a couple of blemishes at the end, making uh, bogeys on 16 and 17. And Sudhir, on the other hand, has just holed out from over the green. Uh, that's a wonderful chip. We kept talking about his ball striking and he's shown us that he's good with the wedges as well. Yes, uh, he seems to be taking serious advice of what we are suggesting and requesting on the other hand. Absolutely. Eagle uh, on the 17th would make him come back a little back towards where he would have started the round. So we'll have a quick amendment in Sudhir Sharma's scorecard where from 8 under, I think he should be at 10, where he would find himself jumping 12 spots courtesy, sorry, jumping 6 spots courtesy that chip in. Yes, and uh, I for one uh, am looking forward to sit with Sudhir Sharma next week and uh, have him make us his special chai. The other player ka coach na kuch stress release karne ka tarika hota hai. Jaise ki aapne post mein aapko pata hai, Amma ji ko pasand hai, wo kada kisam ki chai hai. Me is mood mein wo chai banayenge ya humse chai banwayenge? Ne, he the next office like being mentioned. Uh, like the 18th tee shot is not in hearted, but uh, it's a good uh, group of highly skilled players who have uh, different views of little things that they do in the evening. Like his uh, other roommate, Arjun Sharma, uh, one of my dear friends, one of the top players currently in the country. He's uh, known for his magic skills other than his uh, 
uh, golf game. So staying with these boys, uh, you're fed at all times, which is always a good thing. Yes, absolutely. Uh, stress buzzers come in uh, various unique forms. Be it cooking skills or uh, the man who loves to sing along and keep himself of the worry zone once he, he has his clubs for the day which is what so which, uh, the, the sweet, uh, i'm sure the viewers would like to know i would like to know what is your stress buster during a tournament week uh, stress buster for me is uh, pretty much uh, locking one tablet and trying to gaming time zone on the digital platform is a easier way to but blast off that uh, day's stress. As a measure of how different players like to cool off post a round of golf during a tournament week. Speaking of what do you think is recovery? Because uh, players are traveling. In different ways, players are traveling. Sometimes you're driving in the train, you're flying, uh, you starting time, different conditions. It takes a ton of body. We can be playing professionals in any kind of sport. It's uh, tedious, not only mentally, but physically. For the slow. Ample amount of rest. Physio release work, if you have any ailments, is the way to go about it. And any shut eye time, just away from any media or platforms where you can sit, restore, and uh, feel a little collected to go about it. And here's a look at the man from the wood. I learned a thing or two from partially and they both seem to be glued together as a or as again found him in between Anshul's ball and the hole. He seems to be uh, well wonderful. But yeah, speaking of recovery, a lot of people don't actually realize uh, given the nature of the sport, uh, it being so, so different than other sports like uh, maybe athletics or badminton that uh, there is a lot of stress on the body uh, that is mounted by him, especially if you take the driving speed basically the one force speed and the direction uh, all the road power time like players are building up a sort of a hundred uh, fifty miles per hour and even more A specific uh, speedy and running speed of a footballer, but it is still quite a load and burden on the body. And as you can see, there are recent updates that we have seen that neither Aman Raj nor Yashash Chandra are ready to leave the other side of the church. But Aman Raj, who is the third round for today, And uh, Sachin is to his red figures as he's buried hole number 12 and 14. And he also finds himself uh, amongst the top three back again at 16 under par. So, some good coming out of Sachin's uh, back nine, breaking that shackle of consecutive. Uh, Would be interesting to see if. Uh, Aman Raj, let's go off the gas pedal and uh, let somebody catch him. Yes, I agree. I think uh, I would take a call now. I understand it is golf. 
and anything can happen and usually but Lord now assume that uh, guys who are four or short four or more shots back like Akshay Kumar and Om Prakash they are a little outside the zone on Rajan Yashas Yes, uh, uh, good to see Bolini Panesh and Telangana Tourism. We are broadcasting you the fine coverage, which is at the end of fusion at the Telangana, uh, sorry, at the HGA, which is boasting and hosting you for the Telangana World Masters 2023. But as a walk press of one CR laid over four days in which 126 competitors want to showcase their skills and the man from Patna uh, leading the back by distance from Yashas Chandra. We have the leaders at 1980 who have separated themselves from uh, somebody in terms of sitting at 16, 15, and a bunch of players at 14, respectively. Such in the include of Aman and Yashas, he finds himself three shot and two from second position. And every chart mode I own Prakash Chauhan would me has finished his day and submitted the 14 and the clubhouse leader at the so, a 600 power in the final round him tremendously. And uh, if further would cement Christ was even more close elusive. And his closest competitor of merit, Aman Raj, would be looking to make a leap from jumps catching him. You know, that's to show. That there is a reason why these guys are there at the top of the order of merit. And, and it doesn't happen over one or two events. It takes a lot of events there, especially in the second half of the season. And, and they're clearly doing a good job of it. Gaurav Pratash in the 18th as we watch him. And Sudhir Sharma, after that wonderful uh, chip in on number 17, teeing it up, teeing it up uh, rather centrally on the box, maybe a little uh, left. Uh, he usually plays a slight draw. Is the way the hole is shaping away from him, anything stayed up in the center of the table line for the left half? But it did not move right to left. In fact, it, if anything, it has a coming in from the way it started, which is absolutely fine. Yes, he's uh, animatedly showing the reaction and what he thought he wrong. Um, I'm sure the first opportunity he gets, he's going to go switch on his phone and look at his swings and look at what he did wrong. In the rehearsal hitch he was producing, I'm sure he knows what he's doing and what the intent is to get for the better. As most of these players, professional world of Europe, India, are extremely careful of how they go about their business as there is no margin for error. And here's a look at Gaurav Prata. Someone who likes to move the ball left to right and given it a mighty heave. I don't remember you telling me this new driver has been working absolutely fine, not absolutely sure of how he wants to come out. And uh, it showcases in his situation. And here we have the maestro from Ahmedabad, Anshul Patel. 
one of the few left handers three players three uh, players left handed have uh, themselves made the card right? Yes, more than this, time. this is how we feel starting this day with the and conference wing on the first and the same on the 18th, which was drive for him this tournament. And there you have that uh, group has been joined by the third uh, duo of Mr. Pratap, who is a company father. This week, uh, the big fans and uh, cheerleaders for him. Good to see family members uh, supporting their respective players. Yeah, it's totally. always a delight in front of your family and friends, and especially if you're playing well like he is. And like we see him moving on hold from the leader group. There are a few more spectators now. Uh, we see a few on the uh, fairway behind the uh, I'm sure on the sides, on the side rough, uh, there would be a few more. And why shouldn't they with the level and quality of this happening up there? We have at 19 under par, 18 under par, and, and all of this showing what professionals and why they do. That was a nifty shot from the rough. Even Akshay is surprised how that ball came to a haltering stop. The ball should be released two, three yards closer to the hole. But such is the nature of this game. It's not... Yeah, so Sachin, I think uh, he got a little help uh, watching Akshay's ball start quickly. Uh, a better attempt from Sachin. You can't take away the quality of what um, uh, sorry, Akshay has. The ball just came to a uh, uh, screeching halt, and even, even the player was uh, a bit baffled with that releasing towards the hole. Yes, and sometimes you can hit a shot. You can sometimes hit a delicate shot a little too good and uh, better than you matched was possible and in a little uh, away from the hole. And now we see in live feed number two, our sharpest Amardeep Malay on hole number seven. And yes, a bit of flutter on the board as. Uh... And the yesters seem to have par 316 means Aman is now too short and engaging from where it is lying on the back edge of the green. Relatively easy par save. Selected to go with the bump and run. Things are simple and uh, not uh, any margin of error creep up. Absolutely. And I have a feeling he's going to actually fancy this trip. He's given it a realistic chance of falling it. Uh, about foot or two left for his bar attack. He's, uh, he's going to be content with that ch chip shot. And here in your screens is danger lurking, moving around. Mr. Sampachari, that the pace of play, uh, the norms of rules of golf are being to the T. Important to keep up with the group ahead, and uh, as you, as every player is given a stupid amount of time frame to hit that golf shot. 
They have very tentative stroke. He would really want that stroke to be played again, do over. But since we don't have that in golf, uh, he'll have to contend with the two parts from Sachin, on the other hand, hit a better coming up to the green and would like to hold the next. Yes, absolutely. Uh, no do overs, especially after uh, round four, is the state for uh, moving on to the next. You've done with the uh, on every respective hole. So, Sachin, presuming after would have this as his birdie putt. Yeah, uh, so to be cleaning up his, uh, what I'm presuming is a par attempt, and uh, the left-handed Anshul Patel towards the past the days, hole number 18, what he has, 17 hole comes up, just a bit short, uh, relatively all right, as the lift place rules will uh, apply for him and uh, a simplistic up and down left for him on the 72nd hole. I think uh, he seems to be in a position which he would fancy that chip and uh, ball up ahead on the green as well. We'll uh, see in a minute who it is and got up uh, catching up and that's so now I would assume uh, his tee shot was a little errant and he's maybe put or uh, is it on this hole? <laughs> I don't think it's uh, that fast pace for the But uh, yeah, we would love to see that that's the drive. Of, but the abbreviated shot, which is left, I presume he has hacked out the button. Yeah, pretty very short shot.
and uh, here's a look at Amar who seems to have way high in the air to a fast stop. Uh, I'm not really sure where it's ended, but if it is, well, that's a tremendous call shot from that far out. Okay. Yeah, so it a bit of a bit of apology we had, had a technical and the audio was missing out of the field nonetheless we are back in uh, live action of the telangan golconda masters 23 as we draw towards the close of the final round big surprises are coming from pretty much the players as rather unfortunate aman raj has also which means the door is a little bit more accessible for even 69, which is Sachin and Akshay, his playing partner, has exactly know what's happening. And with a very realistic birdie hole opportunity and a very nice, tight 18th score, anything can happen. Yes, absolutely. That's what we were. Talking about that, uh, if Aman Raj or Yasha started in any way, only going to open the door for the players behind them because uh, uh, baggage just look like the uh, two man race, and, and now we have very, very, very potentially four guys are in this very, very interesting and very, as you watch both our feeds, uh, we are now number eight. And uh, in our live feed with uh, Yashastra Chandra, and who's chasing Aman Raj by one shot. Yes, both the live feeds one and two are uh, showcasing the difficulties of the terrain as uh, both the playing out from the left hand side. That seems to be coming up from the bunker. And uh, Ravi be actually is pacing up for this time. Will land this one. Yes, in the last. Uh... 20 minutes or so for some reasons like the run of birdies has dried up a little but nobody's uh nobody seems to be making a charge only aman raj are uh, falling back to the field a little we'll have to see if penny decides to that uh, aman raj and yashas have given to uh, and sachin but it's going to be a tall order because uh, yashas and aman raj are uh, the part on the day still, so it's not that uh, they're showcasing average of poor goal. They're both playing really well, especially Yashas at five under for the day, despite the bogey. So we'll have to see what has to hold with the four players in uh, contention as Ravi Kumar takes stance for his chip shot.
We now get uh, closer to the conclusion of the event. Uh, as we have a look at the whole number 17, where uh, Sakib is eyeing up his part. And quickly comes the 15th club, the caddy giving him an overview of what the line needs to be. Yes, uh, a part made, but uh, a sigh of uh, disappointment rather than relief for Saqib. Uh, uh, not sure what he made uh, made on that hole, but uh, knowing him, he would probably be disappointed with the par as well. And uh, we see Akshay Sharma striding up to the green to see a shot. Naman Raj waiting in the fray. So I would imagine Naman Raj is uh, trying to get to the par 5 and 2. Yes, absolutely. It's a reachable par 5 for uh, most of the players. And uh, if Aman Raj is waiting up for uh, that hole, that uh, means that he's driven the fairway and has a realistic approach to make it to the green, which should make things very, very interesting. Yes, and this could actually be the deciding factor. Uh, if he hits a, hits a good shot, this could determine the result of the tournament right here. And uh, he's getting ready and we are getting ready to witness what he actually ends up doing. Uh, Tell us about this shot. Uh, yeah, one from uh, the second. What is the approach like? I'm sorry, a bit of a snag. Where Amantaj is swinging up from, uh, it's not possible that he's hitting his second shot. That's, uh, he seems to have laid up in that area. So he should right now be having in a close proximity to somewhat of an eight iron coming in from out there. Because if you have a clear shot to this hole, that needs to be behind that tree structure, which is actually behind Aman Raj and uh, it would deem to have at least a three wood going in whereas we see Aman Raj swinging a relatively short iron. So that means this is his third shot. He would definitely like to stick it close to the hole. Or at least make it to the surface. He's holding his pause and uh, that's a brilliantly done job by Aman Raj on number 17. Uh, Yes, he's hit the correct side of the uh, spine which separates the green and uh, also left himself with a small, relatively small birdie putt. And it's good to see a bunch of gallery following up the leader groups, not only enjoying the sport being played to the most extreme, but also to see and support your favorite players. So, if you are anywhere in the closest vicinity of the beautiful, magnificent HGA, we would urge you and suggest that come have a look at what's transpiring on the round four of the Telangana Golconda Masters 2023. Yes, and if you bring you the... Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. Next two, Yashas would need a birdie to catch up. Uh, that is one scenario. We would also have Akshay Sharma and Sachin Basoya, who are two shots adrift, Aman Raj, and they're playing this par five. And a lot can happen over the next two holes, uh, despite Aman Raj having the lead going into the 17th. So we don't know what is going to happen. Uh, they definitely don't know what is going to happen. And the crowds who are watching this live with us or on the grounds, they're very excited to see the conclusion also. Yes, uh, with only one and a half holes to wrap up the round four of the Telangana Masters, uh, we are in for a bit of a exclusive treat as we would see a new winner taking on this trophy as most of the past winners have submitted their scorecards and uh, 
could not find themselves at the top of the heaven, which means a new winner of the Telangana Gold Konda Masters 2023 will be picking up that trophy. And here is somewhat of a concerned look by Yashas after his drive, but at least he's he's moved towards the left side of the tee and is eyeing his ball onto the right. So, which means he could at worst be in the bunker. Yes, and Yashas would uh, have only a birdie on his mind on number 18. I don't think he's going to play for anything else. I don't think he's going to risk letting Aman Raj uh, falter and he would want to make the birdie and post 18 under in the clubhouse and see uh, how Aman Raj and Akshay Sharma and Sachin Bisoya pull through for the next whole, whole and a half. And here we have Saqib, the powerful swing and setup of Saqib, seeing what he does. Yes, yeah, Akib seems to have uh, given it not the maximum effect. He's just trying to probably place it into the fairway. Yes, and while that is happening, we saw Akshay Sharma from the fairway a little behind Sachin on the feed number one. And now we watch Sachin from a similar angle, a shorter distance and in the rough, play his shot. And he's done a wonderful job under the pressure and circumstances that he's in. That's a wonderful little chip shot from the rough beautifully gauged uh, which seemed to be a little tough flag position with little undulating slopes and now we watch uh, Ravi Kumar on the 18th teeing it up from the right side of the tee box which would as we said would indicate him playing a fade yes, sir. Par 16. unfortunately double bogeyed and uh, sets him back to a total of two over par for play at 11 on the par. He finds himself tied 11. Yes, I think now looking at a uh, live look at our leader group and uh, akshay sharma i think it is uh aman raj's turn yeah he's lining up his golf ball and uh, a very crucial part in the context of this tournament because if aman raj can make this part he's going to move on to 19 under and it's going to be very difficult to then catch him by anybody yes uh Aman Raj, if he holds this part, which we are presuming to be his birdie part, uh, will uh, pretty much seal the deal. He can uh, actually play the 18th will a relative calmness going through. Yes, he takes a stroke and I think he's made the dreaded mistake of leaving it short. Yeah, uh, the last thing on his mind would be to under hit the part because it was pretty much all absolutely uh, do you think this happens sometimes because you get so dialed into the line and uh you know where you're going to make the part from that you forget to also sort of rehearse the speed yes that plus uh as we've witnessed all week it's not easy gauging these greens so even if your focus levels are up it is relatively realistically possible for somebody to have misgaged the speeds on the green. Yes, and uh, Akshay would hope that he's got the green speed and the line right on this, and he only gets one go at this. And especially if it is for a birdie for him, because that would mean that he would then be only a stroke adrift going into the last. Yes, each stroke is very critical and crucial, especially with no holes to lift around. And narrowly evades the hole. Somehow these golf balls are trying to maneuver themselves away from the hole. Yes, and a very dejected 
body language of akshay sharma almost as if he felt that that was the tournament for him but we still have a hole to play we still have a difficult 18th to gauge who are out of bounds lurking heavy rough of uh, a lot can still happen in a well, and in aman raj's case he might want it to be the most boring hole for him uh, down the fairway center of the green two parts and let everybody else do what they have to do and him posting the number of 18 on the par uh yes uh, with the leaders locked in at the club house lead at 14 under held by three players now which is om prakash gorov and shitil navid call they have pretty much done the deal and uh, a good fist pump and from so to it seem to be a birdie by sachin on the long par 5 we'll quick soon to know that it could actually move him alongside yashas at pool at second position so we'll soon have that update for you which could also mean that uh, sachin can uh, if he can birdie the 18th hole for a playoff with the aman raj unless aman raj has a mind set of his own to up the ante with putting himself even a shot clear at 19 under par yes and uh, uh, i know from a viewership point of view we would love to watch a playoff uh, players hashing it out but uh, aman raj on the other hand uh, won't put it past him i don't think nerves are going to be a factor for him he's been in this situation he's done it before and he's uh, played so much golf competitively in these very positions and uh, another guy who uh, doesn't seem to be very nervy is yashas the one we see on our screens an important shot coming up for him on number 18 is he uh, tries to catch aman raj and he's only got one opportunity and this one hole left to do so yeah uh yasha seems to be at a favorable distance and uh that meticulous rehearsal of the swing would probably help him calm the nerves before the very important shot of the tournament coming up his way which is the approach shot on hole number 18th let's see how close can he knock it to the flag He seemed to make a very smooth swing. And has uh, put it pretty much in a realistic buddy territory. And it seems to be in a very, very ideal position. I think he couldn't have uh, uh, placed it uh, better because he's given himself a fair chance at making a buddy and uh, make Aman Raj, force Aman Raj to make a buddy to win as well. If he manages to make that putt. That seems to have been uh, Sakib from the right side of the rough, and he's um, hit a commendable shot as well. Yes, yeah, Sakib himself has uh, cornered the flag from the other side. And uh, here's a look at where Yaksha Chandra's ball has ended up. Seems to be a relatively simple downhill putt, but nothing is simple on the 72nd holes, especially when you're one shot back and trying to keep catch up with the leader. Yes, and you know, one thing I could guarantee or would like to guarantee is that Yashas is not going to leave that putt short. And we now watch the top tracers for the players on number 18. Uh, that's Yashas with a slight fade, uh, watching, watching it eagerly, but uh, we saw he was okay, all right, in the fairway. Yes, uh, exciting and uh, a bit of a nerve wracking time for. Pretty much anybody who was watching and is has been attuned with what is transpiring on the 72nd hole 
And as a quick look, we have Akshay Sharma teaming off on number 18. Yes, here we are, where the leaders have made their way onto the 18th tee, which is the 72nd hole of the Telangana and Kolkata Masters 2023. Just a hole left between who will edge up and find themselves taking this coveted trophy of the Telangana and Kolkata Masters home. Uh, as we now see, watch Sachin second on the tee. He's taking a full swipe, leaning a little to the left and looking to the right. He's eagerly watching it, maybe a little in the rough or in the bunker. Yes, the foremost importance of this tee shot is to send it as far as possible, as uh, danger lurks on either sides of the fairway. It'd be interesting to see what our current tournament leader opts out to yes and i'm with our job with finish, it looks like he's moving off this one a little lower and pretty much in the middle of the fairway yes and that would be the most ideal way for him to go about this because he's made a definitive move by putting the ball on the right side of the tee so he knows exactly what he wants to do let's see if he can actually execute it as well Yeah, that seems to be a fairly good pick. Calgary seem to have appreciated his shot. Yes, by the looks of him moving off the tee, he was excited to hit that shot and uh, move on to the ball, which I presume is on the fairway. फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट फील अलाइफ काम घर में कर रहे हो या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हो आप बिना जाने डिहाइड्रेट हो सकते हैं रोज जरूरत है फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट इसका अनोखा आर थ्री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट I think at uh, 11 and a half for the week, which is tied 11th. A rather disappointing finish towards his round as he double bogeyed the path three and the path five. Nonetheless, uh, a great job uh, over the span of four days. We always have another day to fight on, which is, in terms of his professional career, will be in Jammu. Yes, and uh, next would be his playing partners. Sakib Ahmed, who is also um, a very good effort from the right rough on this hole. Uh, after he's done, which would also mean that it leaves the stage for Yashas to have the opportunity to try catching Aman Rajan post the clubhouse lead, as we see Sakib's part. And as the story has been for him on the day, he's he's hit good pace. He's got good pace and a good read of the green speed, but the correct line has just eluded him. Yes, yeah, so that's Sakib also cleaning up uh, his uh, charge for the tournament. And uh, we now are set to see what Yashas has to say with his flat stick. Yes, and uh, we can only assume that this is for his three for a birdie. And if it is, uh, and if he ends up making this, it would make this tournament uh, very exciting. And then whatever Aman Raj does is going to be furthermore important. Yes, uh, if this part more falls, it's going to be electric atmosphere for Aman Raj to finishes all in, narrowly evades, rather unfortunate, the ball seems to have 
finished and turned behind the hole. Yes, and I think uh, if he could see the line, it actually rolled end over end, which means he was aligned where he wanted to hit it. The ball just did not take enough break. So now the sage is set for Aman Raj playing behind Yashas in the leader group. And uh, as far as we know, he needs a par to take this title home. Yes, the stage is pretty much set as we are witnessing the replay of Yashash M. Chandra finishing his round and uh, a live look at the leader, the man from Patna, Manraj. Yes. He's taking his time and uh, giving it all the importance which this approach shot merits. Yes, and... Uh... With that par on the 18th, we still uh, see Yashas as the clubhouse leader. So, if all things remain the same and Aman, Aman Raj manages to put the ball in the hole from here on in, in three more shots, he is going to be the new winner of this event. And uh, we can see he's got his golf ball in his hand, which means he's taking the uh, preferred lie, left clean in place. And he's going to be very careful as to where he places the ball. And he's going to make sure that he's got a fair lie on the fairway. Yes. Uh, Aman Raj, if he split and picked up his ball, that means he's in the fairway and has made life relatively simple for himself. Whereas we saw Akshay Sharma's ball come up a fair bit short, which would mean that he would have to chip in to further his chances. But let's see what the leader has to say about all the charge from various different players. And leaning a little right as we see, he's hit his ball a little. Oh, it's on the green. It's just a little over the flag. Yeah, he's uh, airmailed the flag a little further out than he would have liked. But nonetheless, he's on the dance floor. All he has to do is end up with a two putt. Yes, and that could also be a result of maybe some adrenaline on the uh, last hole, knowing that he needs a par and he's on the fairway. Yes, absolutely. Uh, nerves, adrenaline, everything kicks in when... So much is at stake. Yes, a sizable gallery making its way up along with the leaders on the 18th. Good to see players being acknowledged for the good work and uh, the members enjoying the beautiful performances by each individual player. Very encouraging to see how HEA has gone about the business of hosting this tournament and uh, also further improving the case of how big this uh, sport has to be in the coming future. Any and all sorts of support for any fields of 
life is welcome and uh, as professional golf is striding forward in the right direction under the leadership of our ceo mr uttam singh mandi we would definitely look at some bigger number of prize purses bigger number of events as we had the man himself kapil dev who was and a board member also for pgti along with an avid golfer and very big supporter of the game telling us that uh, in the near future we are looking at more number of events with bigger prize purse as his own event has gone double in number by the size of the prize purse which is from 1 cr to 2 cr having all of that aside it is the 72nd hole of the day and akshay would definitely like to ship this in just run, running the probabilities if akshay chips in and aman has a bit of a fair bad play it could put him also into the ferry of playoff but uh, as akshay has come up a fair bit short all that is left between what is going to transpire is aman raj has to let his hand off the trophy which i really don't think he is going to do those who are still trying to wonder why a player goes on to the other side is to give them a fair bit of an idea of what the surface and the various different contours are in between the player's golf ball and the hole so it's always better in case you are even the slightest bit worried about or confused about the line to have it look at it from both sides of the hole well sachin himself has a very important part coming up as if he can hold this he will break out of a tie from tied third and join yashas at 17 under par so each stroke has very heavy weightage not in terms of monetary department but the massive world ranking points which are available on each occasion these players tee up at different venues Yeah, that ball has also come up just a little bit shorter. There you can have a look of despair expressed by the player. None of these athletes uh, would absolutely be able to relate with themselves when they leave a putt short. Yeah, especially given the fact that it's your last hole. Uh, it's the final push you can make to maybe gain a position or a, a stroke and now uh, the moment we've all been waiting for the stage seems to be set for aman raj yes aman raj with a firm grip on the trophy would be looking to cement his case by putting up a very good stroke on the 72nd hole yes and i'd imagine uh, downhillers with a little bit of adrenaline are a little more tough in these situations but yeah but he's been there done that uh, all he has to do is stay calm and composed seems to have given it a hefty roll and he has um he's given it a fair chance uh gone a little bit further away than he would have liked bit of a tester left for himself the yes, good thing he's... about is that it's an uphill putt so all he has to do is 
give a decent hit towards it. Yes, seems like uh, Aman Raj has uh, got the excitement going on a little extra for us as well. Let's see what Akshay has to say about this little power putt left for himself. Nicely done, young man. Uh, you will have another week to contend in as he's been knocking on the door on more occasions than now. Uh, a bit of a tough pill to swallow for Akshay, but uh, nonetheless, some very good performance by him. And we will surely see him in contention the coming few weeks yes uh, even though he's not won but he has been con competing and he has been around the leaderboard for a few weeks yes he's now. been knocking on the door and uh, anytime soon we won't be surprised if he goes through that again yes and absolutely if you're if you're finishing in the top five top ten even the top 20 uh, on this tour, you're playing good golf and he consecutively, so nothing taking away from him. Yes, uh, no. with eager breaths, not the entire gallery, but also the man, Yashash Chandra, would be waiting to see what happens. At, this is a very crucial part coming up at this stage of the game. And Aman Raj with the calm composure that he's shown through the four days especially round three and round four there we have a winner yes i don't think they are going to let him breathe till the time he's been smothered by congratulations good to see how the players are acknowledging the victory of their fellow competitor a very very smart bold play and uh, i'm sure he would be rather relieved with that part finding the bottom of the hole as on the screens you can see him getting acknowledgements of what he's accomplished and uh, in the background we see the tall monumental figure of our tournament director mr Sorry, our CEO, Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, also congratulating the young man. Yes, as he's getting congratulated by a lot of other players and a very well-deserved victory. Yes, a very well, hard-fought victory from day one. Aman Raj has been lurking around for this title and uh, this makes it two wins in this current season. Well done by the Patna paste hat golfer so as we would see your predictions have come to fair light and uh, my fellow competitor sorry commentator competitor for next week commentator has won the head of the dime and uh, his predictions have come too you can go and thank Aman Raj for that next week or oh, Aman Raj can thank me for sending out the positive energies in his favor beautiful uh, tournament comes to an end as Aman Raj has established himself as the new winner of the Telangana Golconda Masters 2023 presented by Telangana Tourism and Bolini in Nash. A moment to thank our tour partners also who have been continuously providing endless support to the professional world tour of India in making the game grow is Tata Steel, Vedika Himalayan Spring Water, Amrutanjan Fruit Nick Electro Plus, Rolex and uh, the beautiful coverage of this venue and the beautiful shots played around this venue were brought to you by AVP 
द मीडिया जॉइंट इन कोलाबोरेशन विद प्रोफेशनल वर्ल्ड टूर ऑफ इंडिया सो बिग स्ट्राइट वी नीड टू इम्प्रूव द कंडीशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड गोल्फ इज बींग प्लेड बाय एच जी ए दिस वीक एज दे गेव द प्लेयर्स एंड इन मैक्यूलेट कंडीशन टू प्ले ब्यूटिफुल वे द ड्रोन शॉट कवरेज हैव प्रोड्यूस्ड आर डेफिनेटली शो केसिंग हाउ inviting and beautiful this picture is scenic golf courses which is one of its kind supported and uh, not sorry supported but is inside the periphery of the fortified fort of the golconda absolutely and now all that is left for aman raj is to go into the hut to be greeted by uh jp sharma and gagan chadda and uh, i hope he carefully which i think he will he will probably double check it if not more uh, his scorecard and sign it properly and he would officially have won this tournament yes here the quick look at the highlights of the beautiful hd golf course and the sightings of some of the top professionals who found themselves in contention this week
Yeah, those were some of the highlights of how the play has transpired over the stretch of 18 holes. And uh, here is a look at the final leaderboard with completion of play for Telangana Golconda Masters 2023. Aman Raj has stayed clear of anybody who was trying to catch him in forms of Yashas Chandra mounting a charge of his own. So, respectively, Aman finished as the tournament winner at 18 under par, a total of 262. And uh, barely eluded the strong charge mounted by Yashas Chandra at 17 under par. And both Akshay and Sachin find themselves tied third at 16 under par. A big move was made by a few players in terms of Om Prakash, Gaurav Pratap, and uh, Shitij Navet Kol. All three find themselves tied fifth, respectively, at 14 under par. And a very big charge which was being mounted by Angad Chima, where he found himself nine under par at a, for a stretch of 15 holes. Had a bit of a handbrake hit where he had dropped shots on 16 and 17 that stopped his charge. But nonetheless, that was the best round of the day at 7 under par. Devyanshu Bajaj himself reduced a 4 under par round and uh, finds himself tied with Endora's Kevin Steve Regal, both tied at 9 tied at ninth position at uh, 12 under par, which is a total of 268. So all these players find themselves inside the top 10 and uh, we will soon be heading towards the prize presentation where we will have uh, our media head Nikhil Kalan explain what are the winning prize purses and uh, how is it going to be distributed amongst the top players who have made card after round two as it's a percentage based game and uh, depending on how, how high up you finish in the hierarchy is the more amount of money which you collect this week we will not only be collecting paychecks but also a sizable amount of world ranking points will be picked up by the players And here's a look at the rest of the venues where the professional world tour of India will find itself in the subsequent coming weeks. The very next week is GNK Open at Jammu, followed up by the Haryana Open Panchkula. And then comes the big event, which is G Milka Singh Invitational at 1.5 CR in the beautiful city of Chandigarh. IOC Masters 2023 will be held at Dig Boy and uh, then we find our way back into pretty much the capital of the country, Gurugram, the, and which is being hosted by the man, the big guy, let's just call him the big guy of uh, cricket, Mr. Kapil Dev, he is hosting Grand Thornton Invitational for a second time in Gurugram with a whopping price course of 2 CR. And then we head back east to create ourselves at the second oldest golf course, uh, golf course the Royal Calcutta, which will be hosted by SSP. And then we are back into the pink city of Jaipur. I still wonder why they call it the pink city, because if you look at it from the top, I know uh, it looks completely blue, but I guess the gates of what it used to be a fortress at one point of time makes it called the pink city. Yes, I think most of the buildings at the time were colored pink. Over a period of time, we've obviously lost that a bit. Yes, uh, to get into the city, you had to go through those massive gates, which are still in uh, the color pink. And then we will find ourselves the top 60 players being invited to come play the Tata Steel Tour Championship which is at a whopping 3CR, the all elusive club where all the year's hard work will be paid out as it's a non 
cut based event which means uh, you end up playing no matter what your scores are after four round after two rounds and it's a confirmed prize money event a very welcome change event for the end of the season you could pretty much call it a reward based event for all the players who have who will find themselves making their way all the way up to jamshedpur for the tata steel tour championship Mm. Here's another look at the magnificent golf club in all its glory, all its might. A lot of the players would uh, be somewhat relieved that they have taken up were rather strongly with the challenge with, which was posted by the HGA. A big shout out to the maintenance staff and HGA for giving such pristine conditions to the players to showcase their skills because uh, without such lovely hard work by all the people in the background it becomes difficult not only for the highly skilled players to just make cut or, but also to post up such beautiful red numbers as the better the conditions uh, the more favorable scores can be produced Yes, and we saw that on display with the scores that we have, uh, of course, by the winner, Aman Raj himself at 18 under, but we have a bunch of players who were uh, subpar, who were at 17, 16, 15. And uh, there we have a look at the leaderboard, uh, the concluded leaderboard of a wonderful tournament. Aman Raj has won at 18 under par, followed by Yashas Chandra, a stroke adrift at 17 under. And uh, we have two positions for tie third, which is Akshay Sharma and Sachin Basoya at both at 16 under par, followed by Om Prakash Chauhan, our order of merit leader at 14 under par. Uh, it a good question to see how much of a dent has Amanraj made between him and Om Prakash. But Om Prakash Chauhan managing to also get a decent paycheck by finishing in the top five well uh, to begin the tournament the deficit was pretty much uh, a two tournament total but uh, aman raj would have cut down most of it this week and uh, would move himself inch closer to catching up om prakash who himself had a thing or two to say about his performance and marched himself into paychecks coming themselves their way. Sachin would have also upped his cause as he is currently sitting at fourth position. So from what we can make an educated guess is uh, Karo Pratap would move up a spot at least if not two into fifth position and Sachin could catch up with 
Karan Pratap or the deficit could have been very close. But nothing's going to change in place one and two as uh, there's a real big gap in between Aman Raj and Om Prakash who are at one and two respectively. But yes, Aman Raj with his heroics of this week have would have definitely come uh, come close to cutting the deficit by a large number. We witnessed an exhilarating week of golf at the ninth edition of the Telangana Golconda Masters with brilliant performances by Akshay Sharma, Ravi Kumar, Yashas Chandra, Sachin Besoya, and Aman Raj. Finally, we had the most deserving winner at the end. Now, to begin proceedings, I'd like to invite here Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO, PGTI. Mr. Jayanth Tagore, President, HGA. Mr. T. Ajay Kumar Reddy, Captain, HGA. And Mr. Sri Krishna Vardhan Venkayalapati, Director, Krishnaya Projects Private Limited. To start off, I'd like to request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi, CEO of PGTI, to kindly make the opening address. Thanks. <clears throat> Dignitaries on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. What a fantastic week this has been for Aman. Congratulations, my friend. You had it coming. Some great playing by Yashas, Sachin, Akshay. Well, I always say there's always the next week for those who've fallen behind. Well, wish all the very best to every single player who's playing the next week. I'd like to take this opportunity in thanking Bolni Panash for partnering with us. It means a lot. This is the first time that you stepped into a sport, and fortunately that you stepped into golf. It's always people who always taste some other before they come in here, but thank you very much. I hope this can only grow from strength to strength, and we hope to see you again next year. I'd also like to thank uh, Telangana Tourism for their continued support to professional golf. They've been partnering with us for a number of years, and I'd like to thank, unfortunately, the minister couldn't be here, but uh, we'd like to take this opportunity in thanking them for their support, which means a lot to professional golf. On that, I'd also like to thank Westin for partnering with the PGTI as the hotel partner for the week. Coming back to the golf course, President, the captain, thank you very much for playing host this week and the entire committee. I know it is always tough to have the members of the course, but thank you very much. And I'd like to thank each and every member, the entire membership for their understanding and for their support to the PGTI and to all the players. Uh, sir, you've been fantastic host, as always. This is one of my favorite destinations on tour. Like I always tell them when they say, what do you think about this golf course? I say, just have a look at that. I mean, you don't get to see that site uh, any other weeks. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, the people who've actually worked behind the scenes in making this event a success because there's a lot that goes into a tournament than just what you see outside. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank all our officials, referees, everyone for uh, doing a fantastic job. I know the weather gods were a little tight considering the rains that we used to see in the evening. We were always hoping that we finish on time. But fortunately, we have some great referees and our tournament director has done a great job. So thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you all again next year. Thank you, sir. I'd now like to request Mr. Jen Tagore, President HGA, to kindly address the gathering. Thank you, uh, Uttam, for a very elaborate uh, description of the whole event. Uh, I wish to uh, thank PGTI, led by Uttam, and all the players who made this possible. I wish to thank uh, our sponsors, Vardhan, uh, for as he correctly pointed out, coming out and supporting this great game of golf. Uh, I hope we get more sponsors in the years to come to support this game. 
I wish to thank our entire staff, my managing committee members, the course committee, the uh, tournament committee, and the FNB. I think they, they do a good job, and I think this week was an outstanding job. Uh, the players, I talked to a few of them, and they really enjoyed the course conditions despite the weather challenges. And uh, the course lends to itself because of the historic location that we are located at. And I wish all of you spread the word and come and enjoy what we have to offer in the form of golfing and hospitality. And uh, good luck to you in your next tournament and look forward to welcoming you back next year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'd now like to request Mr. Sri Krishna Vardhan Venkayalapati, Director Krishnaya Projects Private Limited, to kindly address the gathering. Thank you. Uh, I think first of all, I'd like to start by thanking PGTI for first of all conducting this uh, event in such a grand manner. Uh, I'd like to congratulate all their staff and everyone for making sure the arrangements were done really well and for uh, ensuring that the game for the players went on smoothly. And uh, I'd like to thank Hedge again for the opportunity to, to partner here. Uh, congratulations to all the players for competing and a special congratulations to the winners. Uh, I'd like to thank PGTI again for the opportunity to associate and to support the sport. We'd like to uh, take this forward again in the future, more and more sports as well. So thanks for the, for the first step. Thank you. We'll have the plaque presentation ceremony now. I'd like to request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi to give away plaques as a token of PGTI's appreciation for the support to this event by HGA and Bolineni Panash. I'd request Mr. Mandi to first present the plaque to Mr. Jent Tagore. I'd now like to request him to present the plaque to Mr. Sri Krishna Vardhan Venkayalapati. There's an announcement regarding, regarding the two holes in one achieved during round two by Devesh Rana and round four by Akshay Niranjan. Both Devesh and Akshay will receive checks worth rupees 20,000 each for their effort from the PGTI. I request Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi to kindly present them with the checks. I'd now like to request all the committee members to kindly join us here in the prize presentation party before we begin the prize presentation for the runner-up and the winner. We'll be announcing the runner-up, and I'd request Mr. T. Ajay Kumar Reddy, Captain at GA, to kindly do the honors by presenting the check to the runner-up, Yashas Chandra, with a score of 17 under 263, 63, 67, 68, and 67. He takes away a prize money check worth rupees 10 lakh. Sorry, 65 in the last round. And now I'd request Mr. Jayanth Tagore, President HGA, and Mr. Krishnavardhan, Sri Krishnavardhan Venkalayalapati to kindly jointly present the championship trophy and the check worth rupees 15 lakh to our winner, Aman Raj, his third title.
a total of 18 under 262 scores of 66 65 63 and 68 it's his third win and second this season We will now do the check presentation to the winner. I request the president and Mr. Sri Krishnavardhan to kindly present the check to the champion. It's now time for the winner's speech. Yep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, my parents, uh, my coach, Shisha Shirad Sena and uh, my family, my friend Imran, who has been here throughout the week, uh, following me from the last week where I didn't play that great. So kudos to him, he could still stick around. And uh, I think Hyderabad in general has uh, too much to offer. The food is great. Golf course has been in uh, lovely condition always. Uh, this is my third time coming close and finally closing the deal. I finished second twice over here. So uh, I love the trophy. I've been craving for it for a long time. And uh, it's a great feeling to finally get it done. Uh, the hospitality was great. And uh, I think all in all, uh, Hardik Chavra, my friend, uh, he did a great job in uh, suggesting a few places and uh, showing me around. Uh, thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you to my sponsor at Callaway, uh, Travis Matthew and uh, many more to come. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you, and congratulations to the champion once again. On that note, we'll be wrapping up this prize presentation ceremony. But before we conclude, we'd like to thank presenting partner Bolineni Panash, co-presenting partner Telangana Tourism, host venue Hyderabad Golf Association, hospitality partner the Westin Hyderabad Mind Space, all members of the club, players, referees, and officials, the co-staff, and the F&B staff. And of course, PGT has tour partners, Rolex, Tata Steel, Bisleri Vedika, Himalayan, Spring Water, Amrutanjan, Fruitnik Electro Plus, Golf Plus Monthly, and Athletic Drive. Thank you, and see you all next year.